Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with Long War 2, shall we? Uh, if it's loading. There we go. Alright, uh, so we had a very important mission uh, that we entered our last stream at the start of. We've got I Am The Sky, Larius, Rorosaur, Lazic, Sigma Bean, and Stardust Nebula. Uh, on their way to try and bring a VIP out of... Well, actually, we're trying to capture the VIP. Uh, it is a mission success if we kill, but I don't remember what it was. But there's something very worthwhile if we capture the VIP. It might have even been something like... Uh, we counter a dark event if we capture. So it's a pretty important that we pull this off. Uh, unfortunately, I don't actually remember if we managed to get it down to light or very light. Um, so I'm going to assume that we're going to have to beat up to 12 enemies for this one. Um, but first things first, let's figure out how we're going to get there. So we got this whole street near the VIP. If we wanted to shoot him, as long as we get it done in one turn... We could just shoot him and probably get out pretty easily. Probably. But I'm pretty sure we need that capture. Oh, and we've already found a drone. That's good to know, at least. Um, it seems I can't see the drone almost anywhere I move, so I want to move everyone else before we keep going. I Am The Sky is actually just a squaddy, so... What's your aim like? 65. Okay, that's pretty bad. So you're pretty much, probably, mostly just going to be a scout. Um, the drone could go as far as still inside the building next turn. So I think we can probably bring I Am The Sky all the way up here. Oh, and we see... Well, there's something there, but it's not showing us the squad as discovered. Uh, I think I saw, like, four or five hit points without armor, so it's got to be infantry. Um, I want to get the sharpshooter, Stardust Nebula, on this roof. But the drones do have a, ha have a habit of casually crashing through a skylight, and I can't get... Stardust all the way up to a bit of cover against Vision. We can get Stardust up to this ladder, though. And I don't think anyone else can actually run up there this turn regardless. So I think we're going to do that. Uh, Larius, the Reaper, nice and overpowered be like a sniper or a ranger or a scout. Um, I think we'll probably... It's not likely, but I guess there could be a drone up this way. Um, if I do this, I'll have vision on the drone even after we move our specialist. Although... Uh, although I do want Bean to hopefully have line of sight on the drone if it comes too close, so we can try for a sh 59... 49%? Oh, that's control. 91% on shutdown, so that's not too bad. Um, in that case... I think it's probably safe to put Sigma over here. And we see Sectoid Trooper. That's not too bad, I guess. Uh, Lazic. I would normally put here, but the drone is giving me the heebie-jeebies. I think it could spot him if I put him here. If I put him up on the roof, something could come from the other side as well. It's somewhat all bad. 
here is totally safe, I think, from getting spotted, but gonna lose some movement points next turn. I think we'll try this and hope for the best. Okay. Oh, and there's the some kind of trooper, I think, and uh, I saw trooper, officer, and I don't know what else. We have double drone over here, which is in a way good, because we know where they are and they're in a very similar position, so we're not going to run into one over here, most likely. Uh, Stardust Nebula could actually get line of sight on the VIP this turn, but would be standing out in the open for no reason. Um, so I'm thinking... I want protection against the drones potentially popping up. So maybe like this. And see how that goes. Uh, Rorosaur... I think those... It's a Stun Lancer, actually. Stun Lancer Officer and something else. Uh, I think they're probably going this way. The Officer should be the leader, so they shouldn't be able to come back all the way to this wall. It's a little bit risk-reward, but if I go over here... I think there's a low chance, actually, that we could get a good flame next turn. Although that is the edge of the map, right there. Uh, can I get some more information before I make this decision? Oh, we see officer, I think. Yep. Uh, so the officer, we can preview movement. They're definitely not popping out here if we bring up our flamer. Uh, Bean, can you maybe get eyes on that sectoid again? Close enough. This is looking pretty good. Oh, and we know where... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, that... That is most of the map. I don't know if it's all of the map. Okay. So, I think we are going to bring up our technical here, Rorosaur. Oh, oh, I think I saw a priest right about here. That could complicate things. Okay, I am the sky... Um, I want you in a position where you're not going to lose stealth anytime soon, probably, but also in a position where you might see some stuff and run out and cut someone. Got it. So maybe over here. I have eyes on the enemy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's literally got to be the entire map. Okay, and we're right in the middle of all of the enemy squads at the tip of the spear right now. Uh, we probably don't want an ambush just yet, that being the case. But if they come back into perfect range of the flamer, we're not going to have a choice. Sectoids are coming back, or sectoid. Uh, officer, officer trooper and stun lancer, I think it is, are actually kind of leaving, but not really. What's this? Another officer? I don't know why it double zooms when it's on uh, the alien's turn, but I can either stay this zoomed out or way zoomed in. Okay. Uh, let me just double check something real quick. Oh, there we go. Uh, 
Okay, so... It's a little risky that Officer could come up this way. I do want to get Stardust Nebula over here, but it's a bit sketchy at the moment. Or even in the relatively near future as well. If this Officer keeps going this way, uh, which it looks like he wants to... I mean, you can never tell when they're going to turn around, but... It's only been a few turns. We've seen them go... They, they usually want to go the way they're facing. They turn around every few turns or so. Um, if the officer goes away, we can maybe fight some other stuff. Our scout is trapped. That's not great. And there's really nowhere to go to try to set up for a flamethrower right now. This is not going so well. Um, if there's a really good chance that we're in a fight, whether we like it or not, soon... How do I want to set up? I think we pray that the officer's not coming up that ladder anytime soon. In short order. Because it's not likely. What? Oh, it's seen the it's seen the VIP. And that is another drone. And a gunner, and I think there's multiple enemies. Yeah, the, what, what the? There's a gunner and the VIP standing on top of each other. Looking a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, then. Um, I, I could rocket all of this. It wouldn't even be that good of a rocket. That Let's call that plan B. Uh, let's get our sniper to use a steady weapon, a stock. I am the sky, can't go anywhere, just overwatch. Uh, get some height advantage for our... This is actually like the only place our technical can go with some cover in this direction anyway. So let's get a bit of height advantage, overwatch the technical. Uh, I'd love to bring Lazik up. For an overwatch up here, but he's so slow. But then everywhere else is terrible. So I think we'll just dash him up here. And Bean probably dash up here as well. And next turn we'll see if that hack is worth attempting. It's a little dicey. We're smack in the middle of three enemy squads. And a drone, or two. Uh, make that four enemy squads, because the sectoid's coming back. Our gunner doesn't even have an upgraded weapon. What are they doing? Oh, good, the officer and friends are going away, like we hoped. We, we can only see them because, the, uh, because of the overpowered Reaper X-ray vision. That's unfortunately too far down for the flamethrower, although just burning two things would hardly be worth it. Uh, we don't have unlimited time though, even if we do stay in concealment for this mission. Uh, is the main problem. What can we do with a hack? Map alert is a good downside. It, it just tells enemies where we are, and as far as penalties for missing a hack go, that's pretty weak. Sometimes you actually want the map alert, if you've got a wall of defenders. Soldier gains complete immunity from two attacks, squad ch crit chance increased. Cool, so we can miss harder. This is not very useful. If we had something like take control of all of the enemy bots, that might cut it, even though they're just drones. 
Uh, we can't one-shot the priest regardless, to, even if we had more damage, uh, because it has sustain. It reduces hit points to one, and it can't be interacted with. We can at least get our scout out of there this turn. We're not too far from the evac, kind of, but if we don't get going soon, we're going to be in trouble. I think I Am The Sky is probably going to end up hopefully one-shotting uh, the sectoid. We got 90% to hit, but we need to not... Uh, and min, dam min damage could kill it from this range, but we need to not uh, not graze it as well. Um, I don't know where to put I Am The Sky right now, to be honest, though. How much range do you have? Quite a lot. 16 mobility. That's fantastic. Um, but your options for where to go right now are really, really bad. In fact, you you would be trapped if not for the ladder. I think we're going to have to move I Am The Sky up here. I definitely don't think activating this turn would be good. Um, I wish I could activate Shadow, even though we're already in concealment. It increases mobility as well as ridiculously decreases the d detection range. Um, but I think we'll try this. Larius, try and squeeze up this way. That's one person at least kind of close to the evac. And... Sigma Bean... Sigma Bean... Well, Sigma Bean's going to pop a couple of drones with combat protocol. But other than that, I'm not expecting much. Uh, Stardust... Doesn't have that much mobility either. I think we definitely want... Stardust over here, but then we see the officer. And I don't think we want to see officer. Where can this officer go? In one turn. Far enough to flank, far enough to reveal Sigma down here. Uh, I think, honestly... We should just set up some overwatches while we move and hope for the best at this point. To that location. Because we can't sit still and wait for a good ambush. And we're not I'm pretty sure we're never getting a good flamethrower. Um can Yeah, we can we can already see officer. And Unle unless they move first and go over this way, which is quite possible. Um, I think with Lazic, we'll just have to sit still. Rorosaur. Uh, I kind of want... I, I want... Could the camera not do that, actually? I'd, I'd like to have Rorosaur over here, but it's not possible. So I think we'll go over this way. How much vision do we have? Yeah, if Officer keeps going this way, we should lose sight of them and be able to avoid fighting them for a turn. Uh, and because I think there's a pretty good chance of something going wrong right now, we're going to overwatch our sniper. And... Overwatch with the SMG on 65 aim scout. I Am The Sky is not going to do all that much. But being in a relatively good position to activate flesh is going to be a lot more useful. So here we go. Probably this officer pops us and we have to fight almost the entire map in one go. If not the entire map. But we can't wait any longer. Oh, that's terrible. At least we've got Rorosaur near these guys. Um, so we can pop fire on them. Officers turning around, actually. 
which puts us in the awkward position of another turn of no good ambushes and time ticking down and we're trying to creep our way toward the objective and the evac um we really are starting to run out of time though uh it's not like Rorosaur can oh okay that's a trooper right the one that we can't yeah that's just a trooper Okay, burning officer, uh, assuming they get set on fire, burning officer and stun lancer. This is one of the biggest threats on the map by far. Uh, that might be worth doing. Can we... We can't avoid activating 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 enemies at once with this though. And we're not in a great spot. Hmm. But I just don't think it's going to get much better. And the time that we have for it to try to get it better is just... is gone. Um... Do we want to... We're not going to take an aimed shot. Bef uh, to pop the ambush, that's not going to accomplish much. What can the sectoid see? Um, a little too much for my liking. Could the camera stop doing that? Fantastic. We actually have to move these guys all the way over here to avoid waking up the sectoid at the same time. This is actually terrible. And it's not like I could have snuck around the right side either. I mean, if I'd known the sectoid was going to turn around, I definitely could and would have. If I'd known everything was over here to start with. Hmm. I'm very tempted to just rocket the, uh... The VIP. But then these guys are going to be more of a problem. If we activate by burning these guys, uh, these ones will probably bunch up enough to get punished by a rocket next turn. Maybe. We could slicey dice, sectoid, maybe take a reaction shot with Lazic. But we don't, we don't know what we're going to get with that. Um, these guys are going to be on this side of the car. So they can avoid being flanked. These guys are probably get behind cover over here. It's all bad. It's so bad. The question is which kind of bad do we gamble on? Alimonchens, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I could actually creep a little closer to these guys with Rorosaur. And hopefully we could burn all three of them. I think that's what we're going to do. And we can. We can burn all three of them. So there's, I think, a 75% chance they get set on fire on top of the 2-5 to five damage to start with. It burns for 1 to 3 damage for 2 ticks. Uh, so one flamethrower could kill all three of them, although we wouldn't know it at first. Um, I'm thinking reaction fire for Lazic is probably the way we go. And maybe Stardust Nebula as well. And we'll use a flesh probably on sectoid. Uh, as for Larius, I think we'll wait and see. We may use shadow and knives. We may grenade something. We may shoot something. Uh, Bean is... I would say is going to pop a drone, but the drone is so far away. We'll see. So that's the plan. I don't like it, but it's the least 
the least bad plan we can come up with right now. Rorosaur, if you please. Set fire to all three of them. We got two. And the most dangerous threat is still up. Without fire. Uh, the officer is just dead though. I think he was on two health. Oh, we're going to clap the priest before he does anything? Nice. That's actually really good. He can use... Uh, he can put us into... What's the word? Stasis as well. Which situationally can be very bad. Right, so let's have a look here. Um, officer is on two health, is on fire. Trooper is on two health, is on fire. So these two are just dead already. Um, I would say that's a great start, except that the scariest threat, the Stun Lancer, up to six damage, and he, he can do that at dash range. Uh, the Stun Lance is still up. How much... How much range does he have? I think this is a single move. So he could... He could hit Rorosaur, he could hit Sigma, he could probably hit... Um... It would actually be great if he would go after Lazik, because Lazik has a counter hit. But I don't think that's going to happen. Where did the Sectoid go? down here. I don't think we can one-shot him. Oh, we can, as long as we don't graze. But then we're exposed. I don't think eight hit points against this many enemies is enough to just casually uh, stay flanked. We could kill the trooper and have high cover against everything, as long as we don't miss. Uh, gunner and high cover against everything. That actually sounds a lot better. As long as Officer isn't going to just walk inside for a flank. I'm pretty sure he can't do that. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he can't. Unless that window... No, it should be fine. Okay, so after considering all the options, we actually don't have range to... Oh, we do have range to Stabby Stab the Stun Lancer. Uh, but I think because the Stun Lancer's on one health has red fog, less aim, less mobility, most importantly less aim. Uh, I think the Gunner's a much bigger threat, so I am the Sky, if you please, one-shot Gunner with a sword from across the map. And there's the vi Oh, that's so bad. 90% by the way. 90% and nothing happens. Okay. Uh, I think in that case, we need to take Larius over to here. Get a flank on the gunner. And three to five damage. A uh, 36% crit, a crit would do it, a 5 damage would do it. This is bad, but we're going to try. Fantastic. Good save, Larius, although we still have... I could probably pop combat protocol. I, I think I should. Wait, who has line of sight on... Okay, good. Rorosaur has line of sight on the... Uh, Stun Lancer, so if we move Sigma up here, I hope it's worth it. Sigma can still pop for a guaranteed kill. Oh, that's the end of our turn. I didn't even notice. So we've got Sectoid, Double Drone, Officer, Trooper, and something with 7 health. Oh no, that is the Officer. That's a Sentry. Uh, that we still need to deal with. Priest buffs the Officer, and is that actually his whole turn? Sigma Bean's probably going to get stunned for two turns. 
That's actually pretty nasty, especially because Sigma can one-shot these drones, guaranteed. Mind control? On... Stardust? Stardust resisted and panicked, that's actually fine. Uh, trooper from across the map through the solid wall. One damage, didn't get through the uh, ablative armor, so it's not a wound yet. And I'm a bit scared of this mark and shoot. Oh, that's bad. And a sentry? And there's still a drone to take an action. It's going to take a long shot and miss through the heavy cover. Okay. So we got Stardust panicked, hunkered down, not likely to take any hits. Lazic on two health, uh, an Overwatch from the Sentry, and Lazic is still marked. Uh, so we, we, we can't... We could suppress the sentry. Uh, if it comes to that. Uh, I can't... Oh, I can actually get area suppression on these two. That's not nothing. Uh, we don't have a way to pop the overwatch easily because Sigma got stunned. And the best people to pop the overwatch are in a bad position to do it. This sentry is actually a huge problem. Uh, he's got better aim than usual. 70, 2 to 5 plus 1 damage, so up to 6 in one shot. I don't think he can crit on a reaction fire, but... That's called comfort. It's one damage crit, two to five damage. Hmm. Um. Rocket is actually not out of the question. Could could the camera not just yoink away like that? There we go. There's some really oddly specific angles here, trying to fire this rocket. Oh, it looks like we can aim for the top of the bus stop. And probably kill the uh, sentry and... Uh, the sentry, the drone, and potentially by blowing up the car, the priest, at the same time. But I would like to move I Am The Sky out of the way first, if I can. However, depending on where I move, we won't have a good follow-up. Uh, the game says plus or minus less than one tile uh, with the rocket, but that is a blatant lie. You have to double it. Can I get any closer? Not... kind of... It's very, very awkward trying to aim this thing at this angle. Okay. Can we get it a bit lower? Because I think the vertical counts as well. Yeah, that's... We, we definitely need to move I Am The Sky first. Um, if I move back, like here, could we, I don't think we could flesh from there, because if you do a dash move, you get a little bit of bonus movement compared to a double move. Uh, we could maybe move back a little bit. Oh, wait, we should go for the VIP, potentially. Why does it... I think the I think the line of sight predictor is busted. Um because there should be Oh, there's a little hole in here. Huh. So I am the sky is probably gonna get shot at through this tiny tiny hole. 
that's actually a huge problem. So do I do I risk the rocket before moving I am the sky? Do we aim a bit more conservatively over this way? I think we kind of have to. Two to seven. Okay. And didn't I have an angle where we could hit the uh, the car as well, potentially? I mean, it would have to hit dead center. Uh, this angle is so, so bad. Yeah, I, I think the angle where we potentially hit the car as well is the angle where we potentially kill I am the sky. All right, rockets away at the relative, relatively safe angle. You completely missed the sentry. I, are you kidding me right now? You didn't even kill the drone. How is that even possible? Uh, all right. Well, on the plus side, the sentry is exposed. I could go 80% to just straight up murder the sentry. It doesn't have uh, a kind of reaction fire where it will react to just a straight shot. Hey, I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If I take an 80% and presumably kill the sentry, uh, we've still got Lazik up here with two hit points in low cover, even with, though he's got a height advantage. Uh, with a trooper and officer ready to try and finish him off. Um, I can flesh... I don't have cover if I kill the trooper. Nor the officer, for that matter. And I wouldn't even one-shot the officer unless I kill... Uh, this guy first. The priest. This is actually pretty tough. Um, I'm, I would like to get something more productive done with... With Larius, like, insta- uh, like, one-shot this, uh, sentry. But it doesn't seem like we're gonna have the angle for that. Uh, if we use... I can't actually get a flank. Uh, if we use Shadow, we get plus two mobility, which I don't think would get us all the way to this car to get the flank shot. I'm thinking what we do instead is kill the priest. And I could do that from Shadow with a knife. Uh, that would... That would mean that our flesh against... It's only two... It's actually only two ablative hit points on the officer. But if we max rolled without those ablative hit points, we... Oh, it's three. Uh, we could kill him. It's, it, this is so tricky. So dangerous. Uh, well, we gotta do something. It's actually really unfortunate we don't have um, Sky, uh, our, our sharpshooter. Because he could literally 100% this, kill the sentry, and then Larius could, uh, Lazic could move away. Alright, I think we're going to try 80% on the sentry. Please don't miss. Oh, you're joking. Lazic, that is... So we've had two epic fails so far this turn. Um, I think we'll go Shadow. How does he have cover? Actually, I was going to knife the uh, priest, but let's have a look at our shot on the sentry. 70%? Why is low cover minus 30? I thought it was like 25 at best. That's terrible. 
Can I grenade him? I actually can. I could... It theoretically might not kill him even if I center it, but it should. Maybe. Uh, but I could kill the drone and damage the sentry. Um, get rid of the overwatch. The whole point of getting rid of the overwatch... Well, not the whole point. I'm really scared for Lazic now. So we can... we can execute this guy. We could shoot a drone. We could miss sentry the way things have been going. Uh... If I blow up sentry, stab the uh, priest, then the officer might grenade us. Jeez. All right. I think I think we do knife the priest. And that literally just leaves us with I am the sky. Uh, how is it that... Oh, now it's not showing that the... Uh, that the trooper has line of sight with the reaction shot. That's very weird. I could try 50% to scratch him. Uh... I could, tr I could 63% kill this drone. Ninety percent, but we have to max roll to kill the officer, and then we're in the open, and that's after a reaction shot from the sentry. I don't like any of this. I think we just, I think we just take a shot. Our luck has indeed run out. Alright, 63%. Take one enemy off the board. We can at least do that. that Alright. Larius, or Lazic, try not to die. We're gonna get a uh, one damage. No, disorient. I think uh, our engineer is still stunned, actually. So we're going to miss from the sectoid. That's actually really good. Trooper might be getting a flank shot, depending on... Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, that should be a flank shot. It's not like there's a structure in the way. Straight through the floor. Rip Larius. Uh, at least the... At least the officer missed, and the sentry misses as well, but he gets a free overwatch. Well, we didn't even get a bleed out, nothing we could do for Larius. Missing that 80% didn't help. Although, I guess the trooper could have done this anyway. Yeah, that's a, that, that's definitely a flank shot, right? That's... that's how that should work. Alright, so we've got 100% on the sentry. I'm pretty sure we're going to take that. Uh, three damage min roll, though. Rorosaur is still fine with his one flamethrower left that he can't get in range to use. Uh, Stardust Nebula is back with a 92% to execute sentry. I think we'll take that. I'm surprised he went there, actually, considering... I guess... I guess the AI, like, doesn't keep track of when this guy's gonna wake up. Uh, considering the odds of our other shots, I think it's a given that we're gonna try... We got it. I can tell from the UI here. Because we get one action back from... Death from above. Uh... 
Now the question is, do we steady weapon? Do we hollow target something? Or do we move? I'll hold on to that. I am the sky, should be able to delete sectoid, but it's going to be out in the open. Uh, can't reach that, uh, that MVP trooper, unfortunately. Uh, Larius doesn't have as good of a shot other than the sentry as I expected. I could grenade and then shoot. Uh, I think I might do that. Because it's not like we can spend this turn well otherwise. I can get on the roof to try going after these guys later, but that's not going to help that much. So, goodbye Shadow. Grenade to soften up the drone. And we should be able to delete drone 100%. 90%, never mind. 3 to 5... This actually has a pretty decent chance of failure still. Just enough damage. You must keep me resupplied. Okay. Rorosaur. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't think he can quite burn the sectoid. Uh, but he could get in position to potentially move in on the sectoid without being exposed. doesn't look like it. Officer 4 to 6 damage. 100% will not die from this. Uh, I Am The Sky at least has 7 health, but I think Officer... Officer could one-shot I Am The Sky. We've got only one action from Stardust. I Am The Sky, Rorosaur in bad positions. Uh, it would be way too greedy to take that loot, I'm pretty sure. I could move Rorosaur up to... to try to burn Officer next, or Sectoid next. But that damn trooper has line of sight all the way up here. Look at that line of sight. Straight through the floor. You know what? That is actually... That is actually a bug. Maybe I should have gone back on that. I feel like it's a bit late now. Like, there's actually no way that that trooper should have had line of sight on... on Larius. Not Larius, uh, Lazic. Okay, I think we need to flesh someone, otherwise the lack of momentum itself is kind of going to kill us. Oh, do I have aid protocol? I don't. Sigma's still stunned. That was actually... that actually hurt us quite a lot. Uh, I could just move I Am The Sky so that the officer doesn't get line of sight, but then we'll be able to delete him next turn. I think that's probably the way to go. So hopefully here will work. Um, I think we should move Stardust. I'll keep Stardust here so we know where the trooper has line of sight to. It looks like... I wouldn't say here is safe, but the trooper would have to know to move over here. And we'll hopefully burn the sectoid next turn with Rorosaur. Okay. We've got to weather one more turn, pretty much. Sectoid wastes its turn on a zombie. We kill the sectoid, the zombie dies. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Trooper did find Rorosaur and went on Overwatch. Officer is marking after moving, so he does nothing. That's good. And, the and reinforcements are coming for the enemy next turn. 
Just rolled out of bed searching for a fresh coffee, indeed. Uh, so, I Am the Sky can potentially one-shot Officer. Um, the Trooper with Overwatch could deal a maximum of five damage. And it has pretty bad aim as well. Killing... Even if there was a mark, at that range, height disadvantage, 65 base aim. The trooper killing Lazic really was terrible luck. Not to mention wall hacks. Um, can we actually... I think we can flame through this thing. Or I could go over... No... I could potentially pop the Overwatch with a combat protocol, but, I, but depending on what's coming next turn, I don't necessarily want to waste um, wasted on that. We've got a 92% on a zombie. We don't want to waste our shot on that. 47% on officer. Uh, let's call that plan B if the flesh fails. Which I really hope it doesn't. If we get him down to one or two health, I'm going to pop the combat protocol to finish him. Okay, that's a little disappointing, but the fact that you hit and got him down to one is actually pretty good. Um, I'll just check no one else has a good shot on the officer. Is there any chance I'm going to do something better with Stardust Nebula this turn? I don't think so. So we may as well try the coin flip to finish the officer, which would free up uh, Larius to potentially deal with the trooper overwatch, I guess. Okay, take that coin flip and miss. Yeah, I think we have to pop the combat protocol here. I'm going. I'm Not here. the best use of it, but... It'll have to do. And... The sex... Uh, the sectoid is still up. Um... Sextoid? Uh-oh. I think we'll move up take a long shot at the trooper, hope we at least graze him, and if not we're going to have to run the overwatch. 39%, that's terrible. And another miss. That shouldn't happen. Uh, I mean, for that one shot it should happen, but our luck overall this, uh, this mission has been ridiculously bad. Only one damage, that's actually pretty good. Alright, just... Oh, and now we find the drone. Cool, good, perfect. Uh, please tell me we can at least burn Sectoid, which mysteriously we can't see right now, but we know it's here. It looks like we can. That's a weird graphic. Sectoid is burning, that's excellent news. And it's got... a. Uh, one in three chance to die without any more action. Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, double Trooper Sentry isn't too bad. Where are they, though? Did, did they not get line of sight yet? That damn Trooper that just won't die. And... Another double stun. And the zombie is still up. Oh my god. I am the sky, down to one health. I think I'd like you to just leave, actually. Uh, we can at least tell where the reinforcements are and they can't see us. Um, so it's not enough for the sectoid to be burning and potentially just dead next turn. Uh, we also have to... Oh my god. This mission. 
Uh, the zombie doesn't have, like, auto attack at least, no. If I'm really greedy, I could try... I could subdue you and take the VIP with I am the sky. That might actually be relatively reasonable. How much can the zombie move? It can't get outside. So, like, it can't get outside and punch. So I think we subdue the VIP. Status confirmed. Target back Free action to pick it up. Uh, th this is the one, right? And suddenly find that our movement is way more restricted than I thought. And the zombie can see us. Unless we go out here. That's a terrible... I'm surprised we're able to jump through this window. Oh, it's been broken. Okay. Um, if I can get I Am The Sky to not have line of sight to any enemies, then maybe. Uh, I shouldn't have taken that 50-50 shot with uh, Stardust last turn because I didn't realize it was the last shot in the sniper rifle before I reload. So this turn's completely useless. If it wasn't for Rorosaur being stunned, I would just be getting everyone out. Uh, I really hope we don't have to fight those reinforcements next turn. I mean, I would expect we do. Let's see the odds. 90% uh, on drone, 70 on sectoid, another 39 on the trooper. We have no more combat protocols. I could aid protocol, I am the sky. Wait, what's override? This is how I end? I hope not. I've had a bad enough mission already. Uh, I forgot, complete immunity for two attacks. That's like useless right now. Like I am, uh, Sigma is the last person who's gonna get attacked right now. I could waste a shot on the zombie. I hate this. This is actually just so bad. I, c I can hardly think of how this mission could have gone much worse, to be honest. Um, are we really shooting sentry? Uh, not sentry, zombie. If we do that, there's nothing we can do for Larius. We could pray that Sectoid 33% takes 3 burn damage next turn. Which means the zombie dies before it does anything. Uh, and that just means we have a drone to deal with in terms of... Oh no. Oh, it's... Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was, but it's also terrible. Um, civilian ran away screaming, so the reinforcements that managed to not notice us are now on alert. Which means they probably run in next turn and get free actions unless we say hello to them right now. And we've got nothing to greet them with at the moment. Um... I guess I take a shot on the drone. One damage. Lovely. And... Let's... Well, Sigma can already dash to the evac. So I think for Sigma's two actions, I either aid protocol Rorosaur so that the drone hopefully misses when it goes to deal some damage. Uh, maybe the sectoid stops burning and lives as well. Or I aid protocol uh, I am the sky. Considering it's the objective that I am the sky is carrying, I think we have to do this. And 
just hope that I am this guy can at least dash to the objective uh, evac next turn, but I doubt it. Stardust. I think go down here just to threaten give Rorosaur or the slightest chance of escaping. Sectoid's still alive, Zombie's still alive. Sectoid is no longer burning, gets an action. Does some Psy BS. Another panic from Mind Control. That damn trooper is still up. Missed. Drone comes over here, that's kind of good actually. And takes a shot from long range back at Rorosaur for the disorient while he's still stunned. This is what I'm really scared. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. The drone... Oh. I'm so glad I put aid protocol on I Am The Sky. Reinforcements have spotted us. They're actually dropping down in not the worst place for us. And they don't get any actions. That's something. I Am The Sky can get out with the objective. We're doing that without a single thought. One health and mission accomplished. Now how do we... How do we not lose half of the rest of our squad? We've got 50% chance to hijack drone. I could try that from an angle where we've got high cover and almost no one can see Sigma. Uh, um, Larius doesn't have a good angle. Oh, Larius can go shadow. That's actually extremely good right now. Okay. I think we're going to try the hack. In order to turn this around, we really need to go for the long shot. It's actually 63% and only 78% to, to, to stun. We really need this. Sigma Bean, please hack drone. Oh... I can't think of a single roll that's gone our way this this mission. Uh, and it's not like it's possible to bring enough stuff to not need dice rolls at this stage of the game. Uh, so I'm gonna go shadow, that much is a given. I might change that cringy voice line set. Um, and it's a little risky, but I think probably over here. Moving as ordered. We'll go for a knife shot on sentry. There's a small chance of... not that small of a chance of one-shotting him. Okay, that's something at least. So everyone that they can see is stunned. Sectoid double moves. Uh, this guy takes his millionth shot. Rorosaur gets hit through the armor. Drone double moves. Oh, onto Sigma. Please don't tell me this guy gets a swing. No, he doesn't. Uh, trooper moves up, takes a shot. No, Overwatch. Other trooper moves up, takes a shot. And does not go through the 10 metric tons of steel. Okay, Rorosaur can move. That's something. Uh, I think we're going to have Rorosaur execute uh, Sectoid. Stardust is able to 60% the drone. That's not great, uh, but it's not the worst. 
We can actually 100%, although we only get 3 damage minimum. Uh, we've got a good chance to kill this trooper. But maybe from... Maybe kill this one instead. If it's the same odds. Can't quite go over here with a blue move. I could go here and still execute Trooper. I probably should have checked first if Rorosaur is going to have 100% on Sectoid. Okay, Rorosaur. Oh, crap. I forgot about that Trooper. Two to four damage. It is 100% to kill Sectoid. Can we aid protocol? We can. Okay. Sigma Bean. How about you leave? But before you do, aid protocol Rorosaur. And that's at least as good as low cover. Kill Sectoid. It's only 20 defense, actually. Eee, that's sketchy. Maybe I should leave Sigma here. Worst that's going to happen is a stun, I think. And drone wastes an action on him. Stardust only has a 60%. Um... I can... Uh, if I put him in position to snipe at the uh, trooper next turn, then we're just going to end up fighting more reinforcements. I think this is it. Rorosaur, please don't die. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. At least this one's a bleed out. I don't know how we get him here in three turns, though. Another double stun. At least it wasted the actions of the drone. That's like the dumbest thing the trooper could have done. Uh, I can't actually get a flank on this guy, though. Alright, at least we have blue move to pick up Rorosaur. And reinforcements Let's next time. Alright, Stardust, please pick up Rorosaur and run away. Uh, if we go over here, we're still flanked by Trooper. If we go here, we have cover in both directions. And a building to run through Finally. next turn. Um, it's actually... Oh, that's the drone, 79%. 55% to hit Trooper. I'm not a fan of that. I'd like to flank the Trooper to force him to move. And Drone probably won't do much. I think that's the play. More reinforcements may be in the exact same spot as last time. Almost. I think they might not see us if we're lucky. Yeah, it looks like they've got no angle. I've got eyes on oh my, what, what kind of line of sight was that? Uh, drone just dashes for some reason. Trooper gets a flank shot, it looks like. Oh, I don't think it is a flank actually. And I think we got two turns. Oh, this mobility, it's so close to being enough. Okay. That's a stun lancer as well. Could this stop getting worse for one second? I think we dash up onto the roof. So that they have to move once to find us. 
Uh, that's just a civilian. That's fine. I believe if we hide here with Stardust... We probably get out next turn. This is... I want to go here, but he might not have the mobility. He should have the mobility. I wish I could measure it. Okay. I think this is the play. And hope nothing has line of sight on him so that the stun lancer can just walk right up to him. We don't have shadow for one more turn, and that's terrible. Um, we can't even get behind high cover in this direction. I could hide behind this door. Someone would, ha uh, someone would have to move to find Larius. Or I could just get Larius out. I can't run Larius far enough to hide for a moment. Or can I? Nope. Drone. The trooper can see him here. If I go behind this car, the drone probably just finds us straight away. This is so sketchy. Um, I'm pretty sure Sigma Bean... Well... I was gonna say Sigma Bean gets to move again next turn and is sitting on the evac, but... If I go over here and shoot this guy, the Stun Lance is going to come out. How much... I'm pretty sure the Stun Lance is going to hit Sigma. Wait, why can't I preview movement on the Stun Lancer? Someone can see the Stun Lancer, but we can't preview movement on the Stun Lancer. That's unusual. I wish I had Crippling Strike. I could force the Stun Lancer not to move. Uh, alternatively, I could do the same thing with Larius. Yeah, 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 I think, I think this is our best chance. Just hope that they have enough trouble finding us to not get good actions. Drone wastes its first move. And then comes up and exposes us. And then the other ones... Uh, the trooper walks right up, but actually can't do anything. Strangely enough, this is going to be a flank shot on the wrong person. That's relatively good. Stun Lance is going to get 600,000 tiles of movement and an attack. This is what I was afraid of. Almost dead. Lost one action can't dash. And not going to have enough mobility to get to the... Oh my god. Can we get one moment of not this? This is how far Larius can go right now. Oh. It's Larius. They didn't hit Stardust. Okay, Stardust, if you please, escape with Rorosaur alive. Kanda Jr. What the? Oh my god. One health off. I didn't even know they had that. No, I should have known they had that over Overwatch. I remember hearing it. Okay, so... Uh, one action. If I had two actions, this wouldn't really be a problem. I can go shadow. Uh, the detection radius on this is so ridiculous that enemies literally have to be right next to you in a cardinal direction to see you. But I can't go shadow and get off the building. So I'd have to, like, go shadow 
and go over here or something. Uh, literally, like, go over here and hope they don't find me. How's it going? Uh, the game is going terribly. Uh, this has just been an absolute disaster of a mission. I'm going to aid protocol Larius. And we're going to get Sigma Bean out of there. We're going to go Shadow. And we can actually get down here. Okay. And we're going to have one more turn of Shadow after this. There is just a small chance of getting Larius out. I don't think he can dash to the evac this turn either. I really don't like the odds here. Uh, the reinforcements don't know what to do. Nobody seems to know what to do. Which is what we want. Overwatch. More Overwatch. More Overwatch. We still have Shadow up, so that's not going to do anything. The only question is, can we reach the evac? We can. Oh my god. Yes, you have. Good job, everyone escaping with one hit point. Except for one person. Well... We did pull it off. And the only person who got deaded was... The one who was sniped from a so-called flank by a trooper at 600 miles with height disadvantage through the floor which shouldn't have even had line of sight as long as there's even one reaper. promotions all around except a memorialize for uh, what where's the name of the I think it was Lazic That's... that's extremely inappropriate right now, Shen. So we got literally everyone except for Sigma Bean coming back with one health or not coming back alive. Very unfortunate, but it was an extremely important mission and we did win uh, with the captured VIP. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Way to turn up the, uh, the drama. You know, I don't get a whole lot of call-ins these days. But if I did, something tells me if I were to poll our listeners, news of dead aliens would be high on the list of things they love to hear. So, with that in mind, it is my pleasure to inform you that the human resistance movement led by the intrepid force... How long are you going to keep talking, sir? There we go. Uh, I am the sky came back with obsess. Shut up, Central. Shut up, Central. How much more? Okay. Uh, I am the sky came back with obsessive reloader for a shinobi. That's pretty irrelevant, to be honest. Uh, it's not often that we're gonna bother to have. I am the sky taking a shot with a gun. For me today is my first day of vacation since August 2021. That is far too long. Um, so I Am The Sky's aim is not great. Mobility is fantastic. Combat intelligence very low. Run and gun? Dedication. I'm thinking about making I Am The Sky a flanker. Uh, we could go with Lone Wolf for the up to plus 12 aim. 
um, instead of Blade Master. We'll lose out one damage on the sword, but sometimes we'll get more aim out of this, and that'll apply to guns as well. We also get plus 12 defense. I think we'll go for that. Uh, probably combatives. Plus 10 dodge, less likely to take a severe hit. Also counterattack melee. Uh, maybe hard target for even more dodge, maybe cutthroat for melee damage. Uh, since the aim isn't that great, I don't love Bladestorm. For this one, maybe low profile instead. Hit and run. This is all kind of tentative, but still. Uh, Hunter's instincts, plus two damage for a flank. Wait, I think we. I think this doesn't work with run and gun. Cannot be used on the same turn as run and gun. Yeah, but we do have the massive mobility. Uh, that was sixteen mobility with double. Wow, if if we didn't give I Am The Sky the nanoscale vest, uh, she'd be dead. So, good thing we did that. Uh, and maybe rapid fire? We'll see. Close encounters, once per turn gain an action. Oh, that's like... Well, with very low combat intelligence, we're probably never paying for that. Ranged attacks gain plus 10 aim and plus 1 pierce against unflankable. Locked on is good with this as well. But we'll probably, we'll definitely get locked on if we're going to go for hit and run. So I am this guy will be able to walk up to an enemy, shoot it twice, and the second shot's going to have plus 20, plus 20. For now, I've woken up at the same time that my alarm would go off. Yeah, that takes some time to change. Uh, okay. I think... I think we know what we're doing with I Am The Sky. I don't do shooter shinobis very often, but that's a perfect fit. Uh, Sigma Bean is going to take Interference, so we can get rid of Overwatches with a free action and continue walking the path of the hacker. Uh, Rorosaur. Uh, if you had even hit the sentry, uh, potentially critting the sentry with a rocket would have been great, but we'll continue with that regardless. Sharpshooter, Starter Snipula, Damn Good Ground would have given us plus 10 aim, and Larius, uh, Shooting Sharp would have been a massive help as well, plus 15 aim against, that would have brought it up to like a 54% to hit that trooper. Okay. You've also got enough extra AP to get steady hands, but I'm way more interested in rapid reaction. Um, so I think we'll save up those points. This is a lot more situational. Um, not moving for a whole turn and getting more aim next turn. Alright. That's all the promoting for now. What have we got for bonds? A rookie? Nope, we're not doing that yet. Uh, missions that we've got queued up. Uh, it looks like we've got one. Okay. Oh, there's another bond to have a look at. Wait, no, I think it's the same one. Bond B and the rookie and another rookie. Okay. Let's have a look at the strategy map. New target acquired. This is from capturing the VIP. Oh, it's also... No, it's because we finished Liberation... Is it 2? I think. Uh, the network tower. 
that's a toughie. We need, like, we can only take five soldiers. We need some, some good ones for this one. We'll wait until we've got more people available before we even consider it. Preferably, I'd like to get some upgraded weapons as well. Uh, we got... Jacobek, Midden, Dope Dog, Conby, Freeman, infiltrating to do a... Ooh, to get us a technical. That's good. Four days, ten hours until 100%. I can't remember if I was going to boost this. Uh, and all of the other missions are... We don't really have time right now. Uh, let's get this engineer that we were still scanning for. And our supply drop. For a whopping 22 supplies. That was because we lost more than zero missions, he'll say that every time. Even if it was uh, functionally a win for us, like that... Uh, I think we had that with a Faceless, where we couldn't really kill him, but we revealed him, so he's not going to be shut up central. Yes, yes, we know we don't have continuous supplies coming in. It's fine for now. Alright, let's pick up our 22 supplies, I guess. And go. Fantastic. 49% on the mission. Uh, three days left on the covert action that might lead to a uh, an ambush. We've got 124 intel. Can we spend it? No. Where did we start? 160... Wait, do we just not have a tower? Have we not researched that? Work is well underway, Commander. Resistance radio. We have not. Um, but resistance radio lets us pay supplies to reduce the intel cost for these things. And we've got it the other way around right now. Still, another region... I, I don't know why this one's only 80. Maybe we got that bonus somewhere that reduces the cost of a specific region. Uh, definitely worth picking up a new one right now. Guerrilla Tactics School. Fantastic. I'm guessing... Uh, I, we don't even have enough supplies to start training officers. That's very unfortunate, but we can at least start training up these rookies so that we don't get, oh, I don't know, a very high aim, low mobility uh, rookie leveling up to become, for example, an assault. Uh, so let's see what we've got. We've only got like one sharpshooter, right? And not enough shinobis, I think, although we do have three so far. But they're all busy, or wounded, right now, so... Let's see, 73 aim on a rookie is almost as good as it gets. Really low health, low mobility as well. So James Peterson, we're definitely going to want you to be a sharpshooter. And who do we have that could become a shinobi? 67 aim, 5 health isn't too bad. I'd like to see more mobility. Uh, 14 mobility, 69 aim, 5 health. That's just better. Except for the negative dodge. Uh, 14 mobility is the highest we've got. On our rookies. I forgot this this playthrough has been really, really bad. 
for mobility on soldiers. So I think Eva Olsen is going to be our next shinobi. I want a sword user if we can. And then we got 42 hours until the covert op is finished. We found another mission. Neutralize target, get advent's attention. Um, that's in a region that's already got a lot of advent strength. Uh, and we don't want to increase the advent strength before we go to do the network tower either. If anything, we should maybe consider laying low here. Uh, how many people do we have available? Not that many since basically half of our decent troopers just got injured. Um, I don't really want to go hiding though because we need supplies. I don't want to trigger a... Uh, an intervention though by amp, uh, a advent, data tap, or the supply raid. I think we're just gonna calm down for a minute over there. And since we're not really looking for missions right now, I should have already put these on supply. Okay, we got some more supplies. We got an engineer to spare. I could put the engineer on Haven Advisor uh, to increase the supplies we're getting out of East Asia. But it's not that many. Uh, this guy will recruit as well. I think we should just keep digging. 48 supplies and slightly more alloys on this side. Cool. It would be nice if we could get another engineer. I think we did just get another engineer, though. Um, even more engineers would be even more better. Another mission. Hacky hack. Start liberating. Very light three days. We can't even think about doing that. Uh, what's this? Uh, squad is 100% infiltrated. One day left, very light. We might be able to get extremely light. We, we probably can get extremely light if we wait another day. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Sheep say met and Yatuatu came back with an elite hair trigger. That's actually pretty good. And more importantly, I guess, a little bit of XP. Uh, Fabricate PCS Intel Rebels Supply. Not a whole lot to choose from right now with our COVID actions, especially since we don't have a sergeant available. Uh, I think we'll just go for more supplies. 22% ambush chance is not that much. But that said, we should definitely pick troopers who could get away. Uh, Sheep Seymour has lots of mobility. Uh, could we get the uh, nanoscale vest? Uh, lots of mobility and stealth. Uh, we've also got nobody, actually. Didn't we have... Sh oh, that was Sheep Seymour. Who was it? Who else was it? Yatuwatu? Yatuwatu is a 14 mobility assault. It's not great, but at least you have run and gun. Yeah, so... Same squad, 12% failure, 12, 22% ambush. Go get some supplies, please. And that's going to take five days. 
if I take the engineer out of here, it takes longer, but we'll, we should have some people available in five days to respond if there's an ambush. Okay. We got the new region. We, for some reason, know that down here is where the Hunter Chosen is. Looks like we won't be dealing with him for a while. I'm actually kind of glad about that. Uh, we need a Haven Advisor. A Grenadier sounds fine. Make sure you have some grenades, though. Uh, I should actually check Shmua. Grenadier. No, I'm trying to look at Shmua's loadout. Or skills, rather. Resistance management. New Arctic. That's the wrong one. West Asia. Shmua, get out of there. Let me see what you got. Needle grenades, that's actually perfect. Okay, West Asia, back you go. And we continue. Um, but we'd probably... We're not looking for a mission right now, we need more supplies. People have to heal. And we've got people queued up for this mission already. Extremely light, fantastic, let's go. Rescue VIP, we get a technical and an intel package. Uh, we got a sneaky shinobi, a ranger for shooting, grenadier, specialist for hacky hack, and an assault. Hopefully this one will be a bit easier. Lupist, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. of some importance to the resistance movement and the spokesman has asked that we intercept the transport vehicle and rescue the target we'll have to take out any hostile forces protecting the package to secure what? the area Menace okay five, we have a confirmed location for the vip move to Ronda that's eliminate all hostile contacts. a close but not so close evac uh, because this building, I believe, we have to go all the way back here, would be the closest place where we can climb up onto that roof. So it's not as good as it necessarily looks. At least not before we have, uh, grappling hooks. Alright, who should we take a peek with first? I'm thinking maybe... Dope. Oh, that's awkward. What do we got? Trooper, trooper, officer. That's one third of the map, though, because this is extremely light. So that's good information. Um, It's possible to be a civilian, like, right about here. I want to be a little bit careful about that. Looks like we're fine. And let's move Midden up here to take a peek. We see nobody. Uh, Jacobek, why don't you run up here to the corner cover? Get up on that roof next turn, most likely. And that leaves Freeman and Conby. Conby. Uh, it should be safe to run up here. And Freeman's going to be about the same. Yeah, I think I get the idea. Don't worry about it. And we don't want to be too greedy with our positioning with Dope Dog. It'd be nice if we could see where this squad goes, though. But I think anywhere we go that lets us do that potentially gets us in trouble. So I'm just going to move him down here. Okay. 
What do we see? Nothing. Not even a little bit. Okay. Um, ideally, I'd like to have some people on this roof before we ambush the guards of the truck. Uh, it would also be ideal if we knew where any of our enemies were. There's a heavy cover blocking line of... Oh, wow. That's actually blocking a lot. I could be in trouble if I move up here. Let's have a bit of a peek this way. This is a little dangerous, but it's probably fine. There we go. I think that was drone, sentry, and... I think it was a stun lancer. Let's have a closer look. And we see these guys. Uh, so that's the entire map. There's officer, double trooper that we found up here. They're probably down this way somewhere. We've got sectoid, trooper. I think there was one more. Don't remember what it was. Sentry, stun lancer, and drone. The stun lancer is by far the scariest. Uh, let's bring... Well, first let's have a look. Conby is going to have to go up here. Dog Dog has a lot of range. And Doctor... Up this way, I guess, is fine. We might even see where the officer goes over here. Alright, so now we know it is uh, quite safe. To move Midden up this way. And we find civilians as well. These guys are actually going where I hoped they wouldn't, but they didn't go that far. We can't get on this roof at all. That officer is miles away by now, quite likely. We could try hacking the drone, but it's only a 50-50 uh, if it becomes ours. Hey, why does it go? I think if it fails, it doesn't alert the enemy. Uh, but it does give it increased aim and defense, which we're not a fan of, especially with 43% chance. 100% actually to stun it but only 43 to control it. I don't think we're probably going to do that. But that said, um, the only ambush tool I have is grenades. And I think this is by far the scariest... This is by far the group that needs a warm welcome. Uh, so let's see, how far can they go? Is it led by the sentry? I guess so. We can actually go relatively far, but not up to this car. I don't think the sectoid... The sectoid actually could come over here and reveal us if I go up to this car. So I think I'll have our grenadier go all, right, all the way over here. Uh, midden... I actually want you in range to go one-shot the sectoid with the flesh. Uh, Conby, get in range for some shots. Moving out. Scanning. Oh, what's that? Yeah, it is double trooper sectoid. That's not too bad. Uh, Dope Dog, as weak as it is, you may as well have a reaction shot ready, but I actually can't see anywhere for you to go. Oh, we can hack the objective from here. I could actually... I think I can do it without uh, alerting the enemy with this one. Just 
Oh, Intel cache 83, watch list 52. I'm pretty sure it doesn't alert the enemy and we have to run up to, uh, to open the door and say hello to the VIP. Um, but I kind of don't want to risk it. But also, I think we should do it next turn regardless. Alright, and our shinobi can go right about here. Let's see if that sentry keeps going the same way. He does. And we should be able to grenade all three of them. With bonus damage. And not destroying loot. We can actually do it from here, which is probably better. Uh, the only trouble is we're not going to have as good shots on those guys. I think we will... Yeah, it doesn't have the reveal thing here. So I'm pretty sure this is allowed. Uh, we didn't see the officer back here, right? So I think we'll hack an overwatch. Eighty-three percent go. Fantastic. I should have gone for the watch list, I guess. It was a thirty percent difference though. We're in. And we are not revealed. Uh I could also try hacking the drone. You know what? The defense on the drone is not going to do it any favors if we blow it up with a grenade. We're not going to one-shot it, but I think this is worth a try. To activate that way. I think I'd like... Well... I was going to say a reaction shot from Jakubek. And then a movement and do something with Con B. With run and gun, that's probably the way to go, actually. We, we would lose out on one shot from light em up, but it would be shooting against something that's not in cover. And the reaction fire also debuffs their aim. So I think we overwatch. We try to hack the drone, control it, Going haywire. and if that fails, we grenade. 43%, go. That's just fast enough to be a little bit of a tease for a split second. We can one of those. We're in what? Wait, what? Okay, thanks game for the visual indicator that that would indeed give us away. Missed. Well, we're not grenading them now. Uh, alright. Fun B, if you please. Where is that... Where did that trooper go? Oh, it's right here. You don't even need to use run and gun now. Okay, uh, please pop down here. And probably execute Trooper. You've got to be joking. Okay, uh, Midden. 8 to 10 on Sectoid, 100%. This is actually guaranteed. Uh, and I guess get the high cover, but you're still flankable by the same trooper. It's not the highest priority necessarily, but it's the best that we can do with that sword regardless. Uh, I could maybe flashbang not both of these guys. So I think instead we will not quite murder this civilian and just hit the Stun Lancer for as much damage as we can. Four 
four is not the worst. He's still going to get a dash attack, though. Uh, Sentry leaves himself easily flankable. Interesting choice. I didn't think we'd be in range for this stun. That's actually terrible. Two turns. And swing and... You've got to be kidding me. Hit through the armor like there was no red fog at all. And half the health gone. And now the officer comes back. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Beautiful. They're all bunched up on the uh, on the car, but we can't get a grenade over there. Uh, we might be able, though, to get... Apparently we can't shoot the, the fuel thing here. Which I would normally expect. I, I don't know when that changed. We can slicey dice uh, just about anyone for a guaranteed kill. I think despite the risk of two uh, troopers over here, uh, insta-killing the officer is probably what we need to do. Uh, Freeman can actually just 100% this guy. Hey, Shmoa. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I can actually delete the sentry. Not not delete the sentry, the overwatch. What should happen with an electric charger when you shoot it? Wait, what? Uh, and we should probably aid protocol on B, I think. Because he's in the middle of 600 enemies right now. If I had an extra action that I could give Freeman, we could kill both of these guys. Almost guaranteed. Actually, he doesn't quite have the range for that one. Also, the sentry can't see him, so it's probably not that bad. Um, I hope... Okay, I think we remove the Overwatch, aid protocol on Conby, delete the drone, all in a turn for Specialist. I, I still can't believe he had enough movement to move up and stun our Ranger. That's actually terrible. Uh, we're gonna one-shot, well not one-shot, we're gonna kill this, uh, Stun Lancer. And Con B, I might actually have you run away somewhere. Don't actually have that many options. Maybe even... He can't, he can't actually get upstairs. This guy can't get upstairs. So if I run Conby up here for a flank, uh, for an elevated flank on these guys, um, he'll be relatively in less in danger <laughs> while still being able to attack. I could maybe consider stunning something instead of shooting as well. Oh, now you can do the explodey? Really? Uh, I can't see damage six. Uh, is it guaranteed to blow this up? I have no idea. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we have to try it. There's a chance it'll kill all of these guys if that car blows up. Trooper was killed, Trooper was killed, Officer was killed. That was a pretty good move. Uh, and now we've got 
a red fogged trooper, a trooper, and a sentry left to deal with. Uh, I think I'll go for the sentry, that's by far the scariest, even though the troopers are a bit dangerously close to Conby. It also means we'll get a long flesh next turn. Seems good, indeed. I don't know why we didn't have angle to, um... Oh, that's actually good. I don't know why we didn't have angle to blow it up before. Oh, probably the car was in the way. I didn't notice the car. It was just a really dark shade. Okay. Uh, if Freeman had one more movement, we could casually go up here for the flashbang. I do still have a combat protocol. And you have to run through two tiles of vision for reaction shots to kick in. Oh, I could also just guarantee disorient with Convy. 49% chance to stun. Uh, versus the Overwatch, that might be the way to go. I can't quite sword him, so I can execute this guy instead. Uh, we could... We could actually get a flank shot with Dope Dog. Uh, which won't trigger the Overwatch. We'll go for that first. This could kill him outright. Even without a crit. There we go. And we flesh. And assuming no reinforcements, it's a done. Let's get the hell out of here. Straight for the evac, please. What? Oh. It's animating the yelling. That's fine. Okay, uh, Conby, run over here, please. Uh, I guess... Who's this? Jakubek took one shot for the entire mission and then just sat here stunned while everyone else cleaned up. We still need someone to run in and say hello to the VIP. Uh, apparently we can't just dash straight in. We need to open the door first. No problem, boss. Ooh, what's this hack we get? Anything for the strategic layer? Targeting squad integrated comms. That is useless. Targeting, I believe, is better aim and maybe crit for that soldier. And squad integrated comms gives everyone squad sight, which is actually kind of crap. Because they're not holding sniper rifles. Oh hey, this is smart. This is a great idea. Got a cover. Hopefully we can get out before the reinforcements. I don't like where this is going. Rolling out. Looks like it. Uh, let's not have an incident with the camera jolting away from where we're aiming. Alright, seems good. There's our VIP gun. And everybody else. Over there. Away we go. Not too bad. Mission accomplished. We must never. I'm just glad we didn't have another mission like the last one, two in a row. The victory today is a minor It was very helpful of that third squad to come up and just hug the explosive uh, the explodable car what do we got no no promotions rip elite hair trigger elite stock 
combat awareness and an advanced suppressor, uh, suppressor. That's actually fantastic. And we get a technical. Shut up, Central. Check with HQ for new okay, we got 16 mobility, 63 aim. Very high combat intelligence. Um, I'll almost certainly go for flamethrower for this one. Oh my god. So we've got all of the perks to make this one a shooter. Uh, but unfortunately the mo the aim especially and the mobility and the high health is saying please make me a flamethrower. What's this? Bring him on. That's kind of... don't care. Close and personal kind of nice for high mobility. Alright, uh, I think we're gonna go... I've actually been not that impressed with Roust, to be honest. Although it's kind of... It's another way to get a bit of guaranteed damage, on the other hand. But Suppression? Suppression can be pretty useful. Um, so one of these, Napalm X, I think. What's your defense and dodge like? 5 health, 2 dodge. Not too worried about Fortify. Being able to make the enemy panic with fire is good. Especially because sometimes they just sit there and then if they weren't burning one turn, they're burning the next. Uh, Phosphorus or Formidable... I know not. Definitely Incinerator. I think this applies damage to when they burn as well, though. But we can hit so many more enemies so so much more easily with Incinerator. Uh, quick Burn and maybe Rapid Fire at the end. Irina Sidorova. Uh, could you start with... Let's just go full firebug. Start with Roust. And carry an SMG for the mobility. And when we get it, we'll give you a fireproof uh, hazmat suit. Alright, so I don't think we've got anyone queued up on a mission right now. We've got a lot of long wounds, but still, we should probably look for a mission. Uh, reduce contact cost. Very nice. Just like how this one was only 80. Uh, so what have we got? Supply, supply, and nothing over here, because I want the advent strength to go down, or at least not up. Advent strength 3... Why don't we look for a mission where the advent strength is still at a minimum? Avenger plotting new course. And go pick up that cost reduction. We got a mission. Eight days, sabotage transmitter counters a hidden event. Uh, the importance of that mission could be minimal or extremely high. And we've got eight days to do it. We kind of have to. Sabotage transmitter can be bad sometimes. Like, difficult, dangerous. Uh, let's gear it up. And I might just pay intel if I have to. Take as many people as possible. We've only got... okay, there's Haven Advisors I can pull out, but we've got like one, two, three, four, five. Five people that we can send. Two of them are specialists. Pew pew pew, Larius. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... If I did queue this up... 
think I would want to get... They're both... They're both hacky specialists, so having two of them doesn't help that much. Mannequin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, who do we have? We got... A gunner with... Bad aim. A little bit bad aim, but the rest of the stats are good. We got a sharpshooter with... The worst aim in history for a sharpshooter. Just leave them as Haven Advisor. Uh, and we got another Grenadier we can swap in. Uh, I think we'll probably take the Grenadier. We've got a shooter already. Um, so we'll get Shmua out of here. Gear this up. Not that one. We take the Shinobi for the stealth, the technical to hopefully get a really good ambush, the Jakubek for the shooty shoot, the Grenadier for some guaranteed damage, and the Specialist. Uh, what type of mission is this? Sabotage Transmitter. Maybe actually a gunner would be good because we need lots of raw damage. Episode zero? Episode zero? Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, how's your stream? Spider Chew. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um. Oh, we can take the gunner as well and still get Extremely light, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I definitely want to take six for this. Okay. So we got two shooties. Whoops. Uh, ranger, gunner. You can't miss the relay, so just raw damage, no matter what their aim is, uh, is very helpful. And thank you for the follow. Hidden Sage, uh, LCR, I think it was. Uh, episode zero as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is it El Critter? No idea how Zero's dream was, unfortunately. Joined right at the end. Okay. Uh, that's actually very light. I think I will Intel boost this. It'll give us more than the intel boost costs as well. Um, but I really don't want to miss blocking a dark event. Uh, and hey, we can do PCS now. Uh, why don't we give our ranger combat awareness? 15 defense and 1 armor when you're on overwatch. Uh, gunner... Do we have anything for you? Iron skin? Potentially. If we're going to go combatives, yeah, it looks like I decided to go a tank uh, with Ramon, so I think Iron Skin actually makes a ton of sense. Conditioning is only plus one health. Uh, Spider Chew, uh, Critter, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fantastic. Only killed one soldier. I have only killed one soldier so far today. Although the last stream went ridiculously well. Uh, we, we, we had a mixture of good luck and good play. Uh, I'm not excited about plus will or... I guess plus hit point is okay. 72 aim. I'd like to give Midden more mobility later on. Which means I would have to sacrifice the conditioning if I put it in here. I think we'll stick with this. Um, is anyone super low on will? Not really. Okay. 
Do we have any uh, suppressors? We do. That gets it down to still 145%, very light. Uh, we got two elite hair triggers. Let's give one to our ranger, who actually can't crit yet, but has an elite laser sight on reaction shots, that is. Every once in a while, you have to sacrifice a soldier to the RNG gods to keep Advent missing 87s against your flanked grenadiers sometimes. Indeed. Uh, I think we'll just keep this for now. I definitely want an autoloader on the gunner. And... Maybe a scope, since your aim is so bad. We don't have lasers, right? Yeah, no. Uh, AP rounds might not be the worst idea. This gunner has decent mobility. I hate to drop it down to 13. Oh, jacobex has got lots of mobility. Let's give you armor piercing. That's the only uh, damage that we're able to add right now. I could give plus 5 aim with the bullets as well, but 70 aim, it's not that bad. I guess. Oh, and what are your bonds? Con B, the assault? I'll think about it. Con B is very injured right now. Alright, I think that's going to be it. We're going to send these guys off to Sabotage Transmitter. Uh, and I'll probably pay the... Pay to boost the infiltration... What the hell? Oh, extremely heavy. Okay. That's the opposite of extremely light. Uh, I'll probably pay to boost the infiltration sooner rather than later. Because there's always the chance that Advent moves more troops in. Uh, when we least need that to happen. Let's drop our specialists, I guess, in as Haven Advisors for the moment. Next region contact cost reduced by 33%. Not bad. It's still a lot, though. We haven't visited the black market since we... since the new month rolled over. Let's see if there's anything worth buying or selling. ECS conditioning for 10, as opposed to plus 1 hit point, that's actually probably worth doing at this stage of the game. 40 for an Illyrium core. I'm very tempted to just sell my cores at this point. Uh, what are you selling? An engineer, a scientist, and a gunner. We can't afford the engineer or scientist. Unless I... If I sell an Illyrium core... Oh, Combat Awareness? I definitely want to pick that up. This and Depth Perception. They're very cheap and very good, and they can be hard to come by. Hmm. If I sell one core, we could get an Engineer. I did say we needed more. They'll never be cheaper than this, and they kind of pay for themselves. Albion Line, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I like this game, but I always get bent over by the RNG gods. Have a look at the first mission from today. Not gonna lie, I really want to see some play, uh, someone play the UFO defense that came out for the PS1. Interesting. Uh, I might sell... Ten supplies. That's actually a really hard choice. Ten supplies at this stage or PCS conditioning plus one. But there's usually something better to put in than a little bit of health. And I might sell two cores. Depending on what else we've got to sell. The data pad gives us a bunch of intel, but we don't really have time 
uh, to decrypt it at this point. We're definitely not selling elite uh, weapon accessories. Advanced laser sight is decent. We're not selling predator armor. Maybe a basic laser sight. We never need that many laser sights. I'm never gonna like break them down and manufacture them. The only question now is, whoops, how many Illyrium cores I'm gonna sell? We well, it's at least one because I still can't buy the uh, engineer. So let's do that. All right, engineer, let's get you to work. And we'll get those supplies sooner. And in nine hours, we finish some research. Market is open. Oh, did I get the uh, combat awareness? There we go. Fantastic. Very, very, very good for an Overwatch uh, soldier. Okay, I think we'll gain intel while we wait for the missions. Did you just buy a slave? N no. Stardust, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got the officer autopsy done. Sectoid or faceless is next. Uh, I was going to do resistance radio, but we need intel to get it started. We need Illyrium crystals to do laser weapons. Uh, I think I can break down a core to get crystals, but... We'll probably just find them soon, regardless. And we can just avoid wasting the time in research. Uh, how many facelesses do we have? Faceless corpse. We've only got one. So we can't make anything after we do this. I think we'll do the quicker one first. Sectoid autopsy. Alright, we got another mission. One day, one hour. We're not doing that. Supply run is finished and. Success with no ambush. Fantastic. Yatu Watu is a promotion. Let's see what you got. Uh, that's right, I gave you Slugshot and it doesn't work properly. Uh, it seemed like it didn't... Didn't negate the range penalties. Or was it didn't pierce armor? We're still seeing a steady flow of migrants heading into the cities. I'm not sure we could go trench gun? Much convincing at this point. And I'm not sure I'd trade my freedom for a few hot meals and the cure for... Okay, Central. Well, maybe not. But what about the terminally ill, the elderly or the disabled? Doing okay, the how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Something we can't. Something most people would trade anything for. You're wrong um, doctor. Yatu's mobility is so bad. Health is so good, aim is so good. I just hope they see it that way. I guess that's why I went with Slugshot. Uh, we could also damage mechanical enemies with this. Yeah, I think I'm taking that. We'll probably take Stun Gunner. Or the Aim. Formidable. Rapid Fire, probably. We're not getting in range for Hit and Run with this guy. Close Combat Specialist? That would actually make a lot of sense. Reaction fire at short range. Untouchable is good if we can get in range to kill something. I could potentially not even use shotguns, but... That's for shotguns only. I would have to retrain. 
We're not using pistols because that's minus one mobility as well. Probably close combat specialist and like chain lightning maybe? We'll see. Okay, and the other one didn't get a promotion. Uh, resistance ring only has a couple of missions and frankly they suck. Uh, well we do get a superior PCS out of this. We'll probably end up doing it just because we don't have many missions. Uh, but intel is definitely a, pri a higher priority right now. Alright, sheep say me, yatu watu, off you go again. 34% chance for an ambush this time. And almost no chance of failure. Alright. We get some more intel. We find another mission. Our next operation will put us right in the middle of chosen territory, Commander. There's a good chance they'll show up to interfere, so we should plan accordingly. That's not actually how this works in Long War of the Chosen. Have I hit any targets lately? You have. Yes, you have. Uh, we get an engineer out of this. Five days, 11 hours, extremely light. Can we even gear it up, though? We don't have that many people. Unless I send rookies, it's not happening. Hmm. Yeah, we found it a little bit late as well. Unfortunate. Now we have one hour left to sabotage monument. Don't think we'll be doing that. Sectoid autopsy. Uh, permanent veteran units, they get bonus aim. Lovely. And we're actually 100% on this. Uh, I think I... Yeah, I did decide to boost this. Let's see how... Extremely light. Fantastic. Alright, we'd better win this one because it prevents a hidden event. It could be something nasty. It could be something permanent. It could be both of those things. So, off we go to try to destroy a transmitter. Against up to nine enemies. And assuming we win, we will get that positive intel as well. Crimson? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think Sludgeshot adds a buff equal to the aim penalty. Notice that on another stream. Okay, we'll see. Well, we won't see just yet. We'll probably... Okay, Central. O okay, Central. Severely damage their linked systems. Oh. Plant the explosives before okay, they central. To pull the plug. All right. So as you can see, we've only got four turns for this mission. That looks a bit ridiculous. Uh, but actually, there's a bunch of little, uh, Position confirmed. little potato chip enemies along the way. Well, not enemies. I mean, they. I think they're technically enemies, but. Little things that we can destroy that give us more time. Move, move, move. But we won't be able to keep concealment once we do that. Uh, we see zero enemies. They could be over here. But I'd really like to be able to get our technical closer. I don't know if we can jump over this. Like next turn. Or if it's going to cost us Got it. Moving. some movement. Rodriguez doesn't have very good movement. How about you come over here? Objective sighted? Wait. Oh, it's one of these little things. They have two health, I believe. Uh, and we can shoot them. Oh, there's actually another level up here. That's perfect. Okay, I gotta try and remember not to tilt the camera down as much with this 
terrain. Uh, I heard a door up here. And I hear snakes, I think. Let's go have a peek. I thought that was an enemy. Oh. Oh, we almost got spotted. That was that was dicey. That was close. Good thing we brought uh, armor-piercing bullets this time. I almost brought the plus aim instead. Um, I don't think we have an engineer though, uh, a specialist. So the armor-piercing and or rocket and or grenades is going to be how we deal with this. It bothers me that I can't see the drone right now, but I think it means it's just out of line of sight. Yeah, we can actually, like, two-shot this thing, theoretically, with the armor piercing. Uh, I'd like to get our shinobi away a little bit from where the fighting's gonna happen. So we can keep concealment on someone. And I don't value this Overwatch shot as much as uh, getting this Grenadier in range. With a little SMG. We got a trooper, and I thought there was a drone here as well. No? I'm pretty sure it's just a uh, mech trooper. Okay. I don't think we're gonna, good, uh, gonna get a good flamethrower ambush Copy. today. There was a drone! And we couldn't see it for that entire time. Are you kidding me? And its ridiculous detection radius popped when we just stepped over there. Okay. Um. And our armor piercing doesn't have line of sight on the mech. In fact... Oh, we do have range on the drone, at least. Okay. This is... This is not great. We're not... We don't have any good grenade shots, either. Well, I can hit those two, I guess. Heading out. I think the mech's gonna get an action. I can just barely hit those two. Minimum is three damage though, so even at, even if it's at the edge, we might kill the trooper, and we'll kill this thing, which will give us more time without going out of our way to do it. So that's a given. Please shred the armor, kill the trooper, and well it, that literally couldn't have done less. In fact, the grenade said. Damage was 3 to 6, but we got 2 on the trooper. So, that was a lie. Um, I could rocket. I would have to move our gunner out of the way. The spread is actually ridiculous. If it says plus 1.48 tiles, we have to assume it could miss by 3 tiles. Uh, I wish I was joking. This is actually terrible. That invisible drone. Does damage fall off around the edges of default? Then it should describe the minimum as the minimum. Oh, uh, do I actually use my shinobi this early? We could almost one-shot 
Um, we could al almost one-shot the mech, but the trooper would have a flank shot. I could do a less optimistic rocket. That could still, believe it or not, hit our gunner. How about this? And you only hit the drone. Amazing. Okay. If I move, I can get an armor-piercing shot. It's better than a 30% regardless. 30% twice. 84% to kill this guy. 100% to not kill the advent mech. But alternatively, I could actually point blank uh, to almost guarantee killing the advent mech. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot, actually. Uh, I could 75% the advent mech. Technically, the trooper could flank us, but he'll probably run away. I think. And if this doesn't hit, I would have to commit my shinobi. And if I don't do that... Uh... Well, we would have to roll the dice on one of them regardless. I guess I could use the shinobi to kill this. We could activate more stuff this way, but there's only six more things that could be on the map. But... X -ray down. I think it's probably better if we just let the... let the trooper have an action. And... move our... Shinobi up. That was a little risky, but not as risky as flashing. Yep, he's running and probably take a shot. And a miss. Alright, so despite everything, we still haven't taken a wound. We've only got two turns if we don't waste some time killing uh, these little things. I don't get a flank on this guy. We'll probably use our flamer or grenade. Flamer seems fine. We get to move up to heavy cover. Guaranteed kill. Find out if we spot those snakes, which we don't. Uh, what's the min damage on Roust? One to three. Okay. Alright, so that's the end of the trooper, with the very abrupt camera movement. Uh, we'll get our shinobi to take a peek and hopefully not get spotted. We see snake. We don't officially see snake. Uh, so we know they're sitting basically on the objective. They were actually not close to spotting our technical, as it turns out. Can I see the line of sight? I think we can move everyone up here pretty comfortably. Just don't go... There's actually no line of sight through here. That line of sight indicator is busted. So the question is, which way... If we go here, we'll spot. We'll get spotted, I think. If I go over here trying to see them so I can see exactly where they can see, uh, I think our shinobi might be found out. How about I put him here, uh, midden, right next to the mini-objective, and potentially we can use one action to kill that next turn and also attack. Um, I think actually what I want to do here with Jakubek is buy us a couple of turns. Let's 
since I don't want to move up aggressively, uh, aggressively and get spotted. Running. And we need some time to get people in position, regardless. Feet, feet. Okay. Does Snake move? Snack does move in exactly the wrong direction. So now we can move up here with relative ease. It would help if that door wasn't open. We can't get over there with a blue move to close it. Um... I could get our technical closer to try to burn them later. Jakubek can actually sprint up to the heavy cover. In fact, could sprint up to here without getting spotted, but they're on alert, so they'll get some... They'll, they will likely get some free actions when they spot us, if it's on their turn. I mean, if they spot us on our turn, they get to move to cover, but that's it. Where's our grenadier? Right about here. That's actually pretty good. Can we get our technical there? Ooh. We could get our technical all the way up here, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing else to spot us on the way. On the move. Looks good. Uh, Shmua, please move yourself up here. Jakubek, sprint up to heavy cover. With Overwatch. And Midden, probably stay right where you are, to be honest. I want to keep eyes on the snakes while I can. And also stay close to uh, this mini objective here. And I should have... Oh, wait, it's not too late. I was going to say, I should have dropped an evac by now. Uh, let's put it help. over here. Help. Someone help. <laughs> this is evac request confirmed. Um, this looks really good for an overwatch spot. Good to go. Got high cover and height advantage. And that's the turn. There could be up to three more enemies that we haven't seen yet. Um, it's actually a little bit awkward that they haven't spotted us yet. Hmm. Maybe I should have moved Midden so that we could blue move to close the doors. I could flesh, and we'd be behind cover, and we would 100% kill one of the vipers. But can the others... I th think Sidorova can probably burn at least one of the others, and we can probably get a grenade. That's what... it might be the way to go. Especially as we're running out of time. I'm just a little bit scared of where the last group of enemies are. Technically, it is six to nine enemies, I think it is. Or is it seven to nine? Uh, we only killed three, right? A mecha trooper and a drone. What's the difference between a blue and yellow move? Uh, so blue move costs one action, and it doesn't end your turn. So if I dash over here, the yellow move, uh, we're not going to be able to close the door until next turn, which kind of defeats the purpose this time. Um, yeah, I think 
I think this is the correct risk. Out of all of the risks that we could potentially take. Uh, and it'll be behind heavy cover if I take either of these tiles. So, let's do it. Midden, please insta-kill snake. Fantastic. And we haven't seen any more enemies yet. They actually came in closer. Uh, we can definitely flame... I don't think we could flame from here to here. We could definitely flame this one. Grenadier... Can almost reach all the way already, so we'll probably use the high cover. I don't think we're getting a shot with uh, Rodriguez this turn. Well, not a good one anyway. We we could get a shot from the light cover. Rodriguez is a squatty, so it's not like we've got um grazing shots or anything. We could suppress if they're still alive. If I put the two of them together, the snake will probably use spit, and I don't want that. Um, it'll only be one damage per turn, and I guess we could evac before it goes through the uh, ablative armor, but still, I'm not a fan. Does that not give us hev yeah, heavy cover? There we go. Jakubak will probably move up here to take a fully aimed shot. Uh, but the real stars of this show right now are our Grenadier and Technical. Can't hit them both. I don't think I'd even want to. Maybe we could even destroy this cover if we're lucky? I doubt it. Head down. Especially without Sapper. Four damage. It's a start. Let's move our technical up, and I'm going to be a little greedy, and see if we can reach with the f oh we crap. Using for fuel is extremely volatile. Avoid giving them any opportunity to detonate those tanks. That is literally the last thing I wanted to see. Uh, can he reach us with his flamethrower? Only if he comes out in the open, maybe. Next turn. We could roust him, but who knows where he's going to move. Can we flame both snakes? We can. So hopefully it was worth it. Probably should have done this before the grenade. Flamethrower engaged. Burning and burning and dead. Fantastic. That's literally the best outcome. Uh, Alright, we have... We could put Suppression on the Flamer. I don't think that's going to persuade him to sit still or anything, but we can try. Not much else we can do right now. Take a 26% shot. Um, I didn't see... No, we can still see the others. Is that a Stun Lancer as well? It's not a Stun Lancer. Thank goodness for that. It's just a trooper, actually. Okay. We can't get two of them with area suppression, so let's just use regular suppression. And that just leaves our ranger. If you can get a flank, if I use uh, overwatch. But I don't want to put him too close. So the... Uh, so he's out of range of the flamethrower. Let's put Jakubek down here. Do. And take an overwatch shot. That snake is dead next turn. Fantastic. We also need to win next turn unless... Oh no. Only one damage but burning. That's... I have mixed feelings about that. Jacobet misses completely. Grenadier or Engineer just takes a shot. Fire over here. Which is odd. But I'll take it. And swing and a miss from the trooper. No, it's a sentry actually. 
Okay. Only one damage from burning, but you're going to be burning next turn. Uh, and you can't do anything this turn, so let's just get you to the evac, I think. Uh, Jakubek still has a flank on the purifier. Two shots and armor piercing. 75% times 2, 3 to 5, plus 2 crit, 36% crit. That's a decent chance of killing. Uh, we've also got Shmua who can not even scratch the centric. Wait, what? Uh, uh, pixel hunt. We can scratch the sentry. We'll probably do that. Uh, and then we have a flesh, probably the engineer. Unless the flamethrower is still alive. In which case we'll cut him in the face and hope that the explosion doesn't kill Midden. We've also got our gunner. Who could do an area suppression if I reload. That should suppress both of them, but I don't really see the value in it at this point. Let's start with the grenade. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to hurt both of these. Unless the sentry falls through the floor <laughs> onto the head of the... Uh, uh, onto the head of the flamer. Away goes the Gren, and instantly killed. I'll take it. Alright, we take two shots at the Purifier. That's a good start. We don't have Executioner yet, so it's still just a 75%. Please don't miss. Fantastic. And it did explode, so... I don't know if it rolls that before or after the thing dies, but... Maybe it's good that we didn't use our flesh on that one. Fantastic. Myclat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why, yes, I do sprint into the advent triggering all pods at once. How could you tell? Indeed. Uh, and guess what? We've got two whole actions to finish uh, the objective. Let's do it with Rodriguez. Oh, actually, I think... I think Irina couldn't have done it because she's on fire. I'm all over it. So she's going to take a wound next turn. Hopefully just one damage. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining okay. hostiles before Back they we go. The snake dies. This is firebrand. It's time we to take go. only one burning damage. That's actually fantastic. Very, very lucky there. I didn't think it was possible uh, to only take, what, three damage in total from getting burned by a purifier. Normally it's like instant death. Uh, I want to grab the loot, but... Reinforcements are coming next turn. We can't get out next turn regardless. So let's grab this. Let's overwatch. Let's sprint our ranger who will have ever vigilant overwatch. Let's bring... I think we can be a little greedy here. I don't value an SMG Overwatch that much. On your order. So Shmua, grab Target the loot. Delirium Core, fantastic. We actually need a few of those right now. Uh, don't really care for an Overwatch from Midden right now. Please just get out of there. Standing in the open. Solid. And Overwatch from the Evac. And they drop in... where? 
ages away, and it's only a pair of troopers. And they don't get actions because reinforcements. Cool. So that's it. We are out of here with a single minor wound, which should be like a week of healing, I think. Uh, and that was only on Irina Sidorova. Although that is one of our precious technicals, so that's not that great. What's your history around XCOM games? Uh, honestly, I only started at XCOM 2. Fantastic. Three promotions, very nice. Shmoa, Jakubek, and Rodriguez. Uh, it's actually 12 days for taking one damage out of five uh, that Sidora's, uh, Sidorova's out of action. Not so great. But considering that she got hit by a flamethrower, uh, that was a pretty good outcome. <laughs> Alright, our gunner... I don't know, 64 aim on a Lance Corporal? Do I really want to go? That's a lot of health, though. I don't know where people are yeah, we'll go tank. Instead of 50% chance for anything to graze, uh, we'll take the... We'll take the guaranteed hit occasionally. Our Grenadier, Shmua, is gonna go for Heavy Ordnance. And Jakubek finally has Cool Under Pressure. Plus 10 aim and the possibility of crit on reaction shots. Fantastic. And already 18 Soldier AP. Uh, we're more than halfway to affording Predator. Which is going to be amazing when you can get three reaction shots. Best one, IMO. The old ones are old. Yeah. I tried playing... It's not XCOM, but it's like an XCOM-like game. I can't remember the name of. Uh, but, like... It, it doesn't age well. Let's put it that way. They're enjoyable, but it's like going from Fallout 3 to 1. Sure, it's a classic, but harder to go backward. I mean, from 3 to 1 isn't so bad. 4 to 1 would be a big difference. 3 is very clunky. XCOM 1 Long War is really good, though. This is like the best reimagining of the series. I want them to make more. Yeah. More Long War in, like, XCOM 3 would sound good as well. It's this. Midden and Jakubek. I don't see why not. Let's get you bonded. Fantastic. And we've still got seven wounded. Oh boy. Uh, we didn't have any missions where we were waiting for people to be freed up, right? I don't think so. Unless you count the network tower. Which, uh... I feel like we need stronger troops and or gear before we attempt the network tower. Or at the very least, our best troops not wounded. We definitely need Larius. Uh... Maybe... Who's our next technical? Rorosaur, probably. Jakubek would be good. Um, Sigma Bean, I think. As a sniper, please? Okay, we don't have a spare sniper right now, but I'll bear it in mind. Let me just bring up the... Uh, Oops. Bring up the old list so I can keep track of it. There we go. 
Uh, yeah, the only sniper right... Literally the only sniper right now we have is Stardust, except for... Uh, a squaddy that's gonna that's got the worst aim as a sniper in history and is just gonna stay as a haven advisor. So unless you want that to be you, uh, you could maybe wait until uh, we're actually like eight hours away from getting a good sharpshooter trained. Yes, worst aim. Let's go. <laughs> Even after hearing that next option. Is this going to be you? Who hasn't even got hollow targeting yet? Or rapid targeting, I should say. King of RNG. <laughs> uh, there we go. Mike, worst aim lat. How's that? 66 aim as a sniper. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, I think it's time to let some time pass. I've still got 57 supplies. Is that something I should have built? Not the proving ground, not yet. Uh, no, I think we're fine. Let's double check all the havens before we advance time. Hiding, because we don't want Advent Strength to go up here. Intel and Supply seems a good. Our research was a success, Commander. The Sectoid is done. Not very excited about that right now. Resistance Radio Inspired. Uh, it just means they do it faster, but there's nothing... There's no other pressing thing that we want to focus on right now. So let's just do that. The is eager to begin, Throw away most of our intel. We're actually, oh, we're actually down to 13 intel. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. If we get a mission that we want to boost soon, I may regret that decision. All right, uh, our next sniper and shinobis are in. Uh, we got... Wait, where are they? Oh, they're squaddies. I don't have any skills to give them yet. Ivar Olsen. 5 health, 70 aim. What about the bonus skills? Center mass. Lock and load. Uh, average intelligence. Ooh, lightning slash. Uh, so basically flesh within blue move range that only costs one action. That's huge. We've definitely got the aim to be a sword person here. Mobility's a little low. Health is good. We'll probably give uh, Eva plus dodge on the PCS. So I think we'll go for uh, all of the slicey dice. And maybe rapid fire at the end. If not conceal. Conceal is reconcealing is very, very good actually. And if we're not going like blanky, then rapid fire is not gonna be that good that often. Okay. Uh who was the other one? The sharpshooter. James Peterson already has almost 80 aim. Uh, lethal, plus 2 damage, plus 1 crit eventually. Return fire. That's not as good as it sounds. Uh, steady hands is actually amazing if we're going to do a long sniper. And it only costs 20 ability points. You can also get formidable, I guess. Uh, but I think this will be a standard long watch uh, sniper. I can never decide between aggression and dead eye. Plus crit is 
basically minus grays as well. And units at squad site range do give the bonus, so it's basically 30 crit a lot of the time. It's not small. Um, Deadeye is like minus 15 aim, but 50% more damage, that's also huge. I, I, I can never decide with these two. Uh, always Hunter's Instincts, I think, and probably plus 4 damage at the end. Okay. Uh, we got more rookies to train. We got four more to go, actually. What have we got? We've got two actual snipers. Uh, only two assaults, and they're both slow. Our rookies are slow as well, though, I think. Yeah, the best... The best speed we've got on rookies is 14. Hello, can you add me as a shinobi? Okie dokie. Uh, Mana Kin, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Morpheus, good to see you again also. One standard long watch sniper for takeaway, please. Alright, so the new guy. James A. Peterson. Uh, if you have any requests for the appearance, by all means. Uh, do we just want to go Morpheus? Or the nickname? Aside from us getting this ship up and running, which was shut up, Central. Dr. Shen's work, Mana Kin. Shinobi. Uh, Eva Olsen, I guess. Yeah, that's the only one available. Mana Kin. Make me look ridiculous? The pot hat? Okay. Something that's not quite as bold? Your choice? Alright. Uh, let's see. How about cheats enabled for the nickname? Alright. Miklat. Don't know if it'll fit. Cheats enable. Cheats on. Cheats equals one. That works. Okay. Uh, so Morpheus, something less bold looking. Uh, how about there's this guy. There's there's a lot actually. Blowout. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect military haircut. Uh, and my clat wanted to look as ridiculous as possible. Uh, let's see. Uh, helmet slash hat. I don't think we have a top hat or anything. We got the boonie hat the dress hat, helmets, hockey mask. I think that's as silly as it gets with the set that I've got. Uh, what about... I can't do an upper or lower face prop or facial hair with this. Hockey's, hockey mask is pretty Canadian. Uh, anything else we can do? If we're using the hockey mask, there's not many other options. Body. Uh, armor pattern. We can go with hearts. Smiley faces. Hearts or smiley faces. Maybe red and white with hearts? Smiles? Okay. Uh, there they are. Primary color. Bright red. Against... <laughs> the 
against bright white. <laughs> they look like pajamas. How's this? And we got tattoos as well. Although, I don't think we're going to find any goofy stuff in here. Amazing? Fantastic. Okay. I think that's everyone, right? Uh, we got Michaelat, Morpheus, and... Uh, Mannequin? Let's go back to... Oh wait, we have uh, training to do. So I was trying to look at the count of two assaults, two grenadiers, one gunner, two rangers, uh, three sharpshooters, but one of them is just the worst. Uh, we've got four shinobis. That's not actually overkill yet, believe it or not. And only two... Sp so we've got like two... One or two of everything. I think I was training one as a gunner though, wasn't I? No? Um... Let's see. Five fourteen sixty seven doesn't sound too bad for a gunner, I guess. The, the mobility makes me cry on all of these. Camille, Durand, let's do Gunner. And maybe we could use another specialist. I haven't done a shooter specialist yet. They can fire twice, even in the early game. Uh, and give other people an Overwatch shot as well. Uh, and they can also have healing as a side thing. I don't love the three health, though, if they're going to be on the front lines. 13 mobility, but with uh, ever vigilant, it's not so bad. But average aim. I think we'll make Sarah Taylor one more regular... Um, regular specialist, so she can just hold onto an SMG and stay out of what, uh, stay out of the way, and uh, that'll be it for now. Forty-eight hours until in uh, intel collection is done. We have no missions up, uh, and we pass some time. Four days, two hours, seize resource cache. Extremely light. This is exactly the kind of thing that I would probably spend some intel on right now. Um, but alas, we do not have the intel. Six days, seven hours, sabotage. Extremely light. That's a training mission, and we could pull reinforcements from hopefully here into the weakest region. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. Setting course for Sector 15, West Asia. The only thing the Advent Fear, they call him the Train Slayer? <laughs> what? Um, Alright, so I'd like to... Well, we don't have a lot of options here, regardless. But I'd like to send some relatively... Uh, untrained soldiers. And get them some XP from this. Morpheus and... Uh, Mannequin, for example. Uh, I don't, whoops, 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 whoops. I don't think we're going to get more than five people, though, with the time that we've got. We can't just send all the weakest soldiers, either. So maybe Jakubek? 
I'd like Jankerbeck to be available. I, I, I need four strong soldiers in case there's an ambush for the covert op. How soon is the covert op finishing? Nine hours? Do we wait? If we wait, it might be the difference between being able to get a good infiltration um, without an intel boost. Let's see, five people, five days, four hours. That's with the shinobi. Five days, five hours. Uh, yeah, I think we wait and see if we get an ambush. Our people seem to work well together, okay, Commander. fantastic. Now we gear this up. Maybe this time we send Yatuwatu and or Sheepsame. Um, uh, let's see. We want Mannequin, we want Morpheus, we want a couple of shooters probably, Rodriguez, and probably Sloda. Uh, and I think we can fit one more, which is going to be a Grenadier. We actually don't have any specialists available right now. So it's definitely a good thing I'm training some more. Uh, we definitely can't fit six people, but it's going to be extremely light with five. How long is the war, though? Pretty long. I once caught a war this big. Uh, what's that, Mike? My favorite is the tactical cooking pot. Oh my god. <laughs> is that a tinfoil hat? Beautiful. No notes. Oh, we got an elite stock. That is going to help a lot. Uh, to try and get a squaddy sniper to get some hits. Uh, and let's put combat awareness on Sloda as well. Plus armor, plus defense when on Overwatch. Okay. I think this is about as good as it gets right now. Three grenades, two shooters, a sniper, and a shinobi with good aim. What decent aim. Uh, do we have any more? I almost want to send someone with a med kit, but we can't really fit it. And we can't make uh, protection against burning or poison just yet. Alright. Off you go for the training mission. Good luck. And may you all come back in one piece. Alright, we need to... As Central is definitely going to tell us right now, because we spent more than one millisecond in the tactical screen without... Uh, the strategic screen without gearing up one of these. Uh, we need to queue up a... Covert Op. And I think... A superior PCS actually sounds very good. Uh, Jakubek and Watu, Yatu Watu, shouldn't be in too bad of a position if they get ambushed. And there's a zero percent failure rate. Is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. So they'll come back from that in six days. Uh, that's when. All of these guys will be back as well. We'll also have at least one of our best troops back from being wounded. Oh, I forgot. Sigma Bean and two of our specialists are Haven advisors right now. Uh, my bad. I probably should have remembered that. What these recruits lack in experience, they make up for... 
Okay. Uh, let's pass some time by getting some more intel. Which we do now have enough to boost the mission, if we so desire. Uh, recruited to Haven in New Arctic. Let's see. Oh, this is where we're hiding, because we're trying to get the advent strength down. I don't want to do that for too much longer. Hopefully we can get laser weapons or just a bunch of good troopers together uh, to do the advent tower soon. And we have a rendezvous uh, with Dope Dog as the advisor. Maybe I should have changed that. I've never actually done... Uh, where was it? I've never actually done one of these with a... Setting course for West Asia. Uh, specialist. Probably not ideal that they have an SMG as well. Um, we've also only got, like, what, four or five, uh, recruits here? So this might be another one of those missions where we definitely can't kill them. But if we can expose them and get out alive, that'll be a win. Although it will technically be a mission failure and the councilman will be upset with us. Uh, we have three. Our position is concealed. So, I don't think we're going to see any drones. Or anything that Dope Dog is going to be useful against. Let's find out. Uh, if, we, if we see two faceless, we're getting out of here. This Fei Sun has 8 health, though. I think that's more than any of my soldiers. Oh, there's a house in the way. I'm on the move. That could be good, actually. Roger that. Um, let's head over this yeah, way. I'm just going to stroll in there like I own the damn place. You do that. Got to cover. And then over here. Be moving on target. I don't think there's going to be anything in the house, but just on the other side of it, it's always where there's a road. Well, wait a minute. And let's be extra careful and not get spotted. Uh, probably... Well, there's no reason to double move this. Or to dash, rather. Move over here. Uh, I want eyes on that sectoid before we... Okay. Before we go close to that house. Stealthing out in the middle of the street. That's how this works. May as well get our shotgunner up here. And do we see them? We do not see them. Roger that. Oh. Got a group of hostiles over here. Double trooper sectoid, it looks like. Oh, one of them's a sentry. That is considerably more frightening. Uh we've actually got good mobility and good aim and good health on Judy Gray. Very strange. What, what's your downside? Negative six on the uh, psionic potential and negative dodge and negative hack. That is pretty good for most classes. I don't care. All right, I need to get eyes on uh, the faceless. Uh, I, we didn't technically see them, but we did see them. Over there. And 
I think I would actually like to get our shotgunner into the house. So that they can get very close. About here. Uh, I didn't. I thought the sectoid was facing the other way, so I don't know which way they're gonna go. I don't want to get caught. Let's move back a little bit. And this guy can go over here. If we see more than one, uh... Okay. If we see more than one... Faceless? That makes no tactical sense at all. Is there really no way around it? That's only one Faceless, but we've got Sectoid Sentry... Sectoid Sentry Trooper. That might be a bit of a problem. On the other hand, we can blow them all up. Uh, I think I know where we're going to do our ambush, guys. I, I think... I think I get the picture. Let's do this. Okay. So there's only ever two groups on these missions. We're going to move... All the way around, uh, the one of them that moves around. Got it. Moving. And I'm actually feeling a bit sketchy about moving our shotgunner right now. Let's just do this. Okay. We sprint over this way, over this way, over this way. Don't see the second group, or the first group I should say, I guess. Um, but I'd like to get everyone on, on this side, I think. I'll probably leave Ale Alexei here for the moment. I don't know if it's possible to deal not enough damage uh, to explode this thing on the first go, but I think I'd like to uh, to start with the shotgun. Because it's going to be hard to get a good shot with that anyway at first. But against targets like this, there's no chance of missing. It doesn't care about the range. And we're not moving Alexei because we want to keep eyes. Okay. Probably here is fine. And you can sprint down here. I don't know exactly how close I want them to be because... I know the Faceless is going to move up. And I want the Faceless to not be able to reach anyone. Alternatively, we could just kill him outright. Moving to designated coordinates. Potentially. Now. D it depends how much damage the explosion is going to do. Where's our shotgunner? Away we go. Let's do this. Everyone else overwatch. Ready. Sort of. Shotgunner. Uh looks like from here you can see the explodey stuff. And everyone else, uh, honestly, is probably in a pretty good position. 
I don't think I'll use Overwatch for this one. When we uh, ambush them. Okay. That's a big explosion. Also, which uh, Paulina Guseva was the spy? All right, let's make sure. Use the shotgun on the splody stuff. Make sure it blows up, and it begins. Uh, I think we killed everything but the sectoid and four hit points on the faceless. Which is to say we killed one thing outright. But that's not too bad. We can actually, uh, combat protocol to kill the sectoid. There aren't any robotic enemies, so I really don't see why we wouldn't. What kind of odds do we have? 76%? Your aim is excellent. Uh, faceless. With the red fog it has, can't get close enough to swipe, but it'll actually regen three hit points. I can take two swings of like 75%. I think we do. Oh, that's not good. This is ridiculous. Yes, it is. Please don't miss. Okay. Uh, we're using our combat protocol on the faceless. That's by far the bigger threat. Um, and we'll keep Dope Dog out of range of line of sight from the sectoid. So we won't get mind controlled. What we want the sectoid to do right now is mind control... Yeah, it's running. No, it's not. Uh, successfully mind control one of our troops. So there's no panic. Uh, not quite. But that's okay. As long as the other group doesn't come in... ...before they recover. Uh, let's get our evac here. Six turns. I think we should probably camp a bit. But they're going to arrive in like a turn or two regardless. Um, the only one with line of sight to the sectoid is the panicked. I can't even click on them to double check their name. I think it was Sergei. I think it's... Uh, they might even drop loot that we won't be able to get, but I can't care too much about that. Yeah, it's as good as the combat protocol is likely to get. And there's loot. Panic removed. That was quick. Uh, I could sprint over there to pick this up, but... Uh, the enemy is around here somewhere, most likely. We should probably bunch up a bit to get some reaction shots. Shotgun reaction shots are not bloody likely, is it clear? but there's plenty of ammo before a reload and sometimes you get a pleasant surprise. Okay, let's move you over here, I guess. I'm I'm always Three SMGs and a shotgun I'm not as much of a fan of, though. Especially with this terrain, uh, it's going to be impossible to get a point blank with the shotgun. Most likely. Probably gonna miss your SMG anyway, just reload this one. And we stay on Overwatch until they run into us, I think. I could get them on heavy cover, but everyone getting a shot, I think, is a bit more important. Yeah, 
There goes the loot. And here they are. Swing and a miss at extreme range with the SMG. Uh, looks like we'll get maybe one more shot. Ooh, three damage on the sector. That's a start. Not even close. And it goes on Overwatch, and they get a free shot. Luckily, they miss. Need more space for plants in my house? Indeed. Uh, Shavrath, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Burp Dog still has three, uh free removals of overwatch so let's go with that and i think we'll probably move up and grenade one of these guys or maybe even flashbang all three of them don't use a smoke instead of a flashbang uh our shotgunner has what kind of movement really good but not good enough what if we move our shotgunner up here after flashbanging? Uh, who has a flashbang? You're kidding. The other two have smoke? Uh, I wanted someone else to flashbang and get our shotgunner really close. Uh, and they would hopefully not have the movement after the flashbang. We can we could at least go up here, I guess. Alright, I'll go. This is our only flashbang though. If Judy gets mind controlled or something, we're not gonna get an opportunity to use it. And it turns out we can't hit all three of them anyway. Alright. Sectoid and sentry, very, very important. Uh, I'll hold on to this, actually. If, well, I was going to say if we grenade and kill this guy. But you're actually the only one who can reach to do that. I don't have a grenade on Dope Dog. Unless we run these guys out into the open. Uh, which I'm not a fan of. Alright, let's flashbang these two, see what kind of movement the sentry has. Almost nothing, although if it wanted to go for a point-blank flank on someone behind that tree, uh, it could. But it wouldn't be able to flank this one. So let's close in on them from both sides. Uh, if we can find somewhere to get some some cover. Everyone's behind heavy cover except for Dope Dog who has armor. So I think this is okay. Is this a trap? Yeah, probably. Uh, also, our rebels have 8, 8, and 8 health. Um, that's insane. Or is that seven? Seven health. I've never seen such, such tanky, uh, haven people. Uh, why not have everyone in heavy cover? And I could take a 44% on this guy. May as well. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting a max roll 44%. Swing and a miss from Sectoid, who is now flanked as well. And Trooper gets a flank shot, actually. But this guy can take it easily. Um, shotgun can actually get in at point blank. Fantastic. Let's delete Sectoid. Fantastic. There you go. Uh, and we're left with just a trooper. But we can't... Oh, we can actually get a flank from here. 
It's long range with an SMG, but it is a free flank shot. And we miss. Why does this always happen? Okay, I think uh, I think a grenade is in order. If you say so. I'm not gonna get too bent out of shape if we miss one trooper corpse. Loot destroyed as well, though. Oh well, we didn't lose anybody. It's a win. I think we didn't get any loot. Okay. Promotion for Dope Duck? Uh, I need to see your stats before I make decisions there. Okay. Uh, you have... Bad aim, decent mobility, good health. I think bad hack for a sergeant, actually. That's really unfortunate. The new uniform isn't bad but we'll probably Sometimes just give you plus hacking on the personal combat sims. Picked up the loot the second sectoid drop. Oh, true. And I think that was after we picked up one. Yeah, yeah, we got two loot, actually. I probably could have just looked and not skipped that. Either way, uh, that's a win. I don't think the uh, the Haven rebels have any downtime from being wounded either. But now we only have three of them. Okay, let's gain some more intel. And look for a mission. Freeman's recovered. One hour left on... Someone was recruited to West Asia. Fantastic. Uh, one hour left on... I suppose if that worked, we might as well keep it I guess up. we're never going to get there. Superior Psy. That's like the worst PCS we could have picked up right now. We are a long way off getting Psy soldiers, if we're even going to do that. We can locate faction though, and I think that has no chance of a uh, uh, of an ambush. So let's get that done. Twelve days. It's going to take its sweet time, but unless we get unbelievably bad mobility on a skirmisher, that's going to be quite good. Okay. Resistance radio. Fantastic. Uh, Cyanex is actually only 30 supplies. Well, it's 30 supplies now. Uh, and then it's like... I think it's at least 150 supplies to build the building, uh, the facility. Considering the other research we've got available, we still, we're still lacking those Illyrian crystals. Wow. Maybe I should render a core. Eight, one core for eight crystals. Hmm. Are we getting... We're getting alloys out of this. Alloys... Crystals. Hmm. Should I go for Psy for once? Psyonix is kind of like the fleshy version of a specialist that focuses on killing robots. You get some guaranteed hits out of it. And I think we had... Um, Jake Johnson, the rookie, with generally bad stats, has 31. 
for psionics. I might regret this, but let's let's try it. Will begin our research immediately. We'll have to get a bunch of supplies together. But we already needed Ready. to get it. Well, that makes it worse, actually. Shut up, Central. Shut up, Central. Uh, we already need a lot of supplies for when we get laser weapons. Okay, Extremely Light, Sabotage the Advent Monument. This is basically a training mission. Let's -a go. And uh, Sheep Say Meh, if I didn't say so. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Learn that we can hit them where it hurts. So we're moving into the city center to strike a high profile target. Deploy and approach the designated position. Neutralize any hostile contacts and secure the site. Menace Fantastic. Fire. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Our position is so I believe there's no reinforcements on this mission. And we've got unlimited time. And we need to kill everything. Uh, and we've got up to nine enemies to face. So relatively... Well, actually, this is about as easy as it gets. As long as something doesn't go horribly wrong. Um, but we've mostly got... We've got a couple of really low-level soldiers here. Um, considering the terrain, I definitely want our sharpshooter on this roof. But getting them up there right now might be a bit sketchy. Could we take a peek up this way? I guess. Double time. Shmua, have a look see. Looks good. And Morpheus. Uh, if you go this way, you, you're just going to be exposed at the top of the ladder. I'm going to have to start you over here. Maybe we'll get double height, not that it gives you more uh, height advantage bonus aim. We've got unlimited time. I should really just set up properly here. And for mannequin, let's creep forward a little bit. Oh, and we see double drone, or two separate drones. Definitely glad we didn't go this way. That's actually really good information, but if I keep Mannequin where you can see them, uh, we might get stuck. So I think we'll move back to here. Scanning. And we might see that other drone come out this way somewhere. Oh, that's exactly what I didn't want to see. We're not stuck, are we? I think we... Oh, that's even worse. Actually... Uh, line of sight preview is not doing its job. It's pointing, like, where I am not pointing. So that's how it goes wrong. Um, but because the drone is on this tile... And we've got, like, a blocking tile here and here. I should have no trouble squeaking away with our shinobi. I don't know where this drone went, and that bothers me a lot. Especially with that open door. Oh, broken window. I think it probably went this way. Away from us. Um... I think we should probably just go way back here at the top. Let's get Morpheus up there to start with. And we don't see anything new. Um, Shmua. Back here. Sloda up here. Rodriguez, 
waiting for the camera to yoink it, yoink the cursor off target for me there. Uh, Rodriguez can go over Double here. Time. And I want Mannequin to get the hell away from that drone. Rolling out. Please tell me that didn't count as getting spotted. Okay. New game, indeed. Friendly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this is actually our second time on Long War of the Chosen. And the campaign's going pretty well so far, although we did lose one person to a trooper sniping from across the entire map up through a floor where it shouldn't have had line of sight. So that's fun. Um, I think we'll bring our shinobi up here where it's not going to lose concealment. Morpheus can stay here and steady weapon. Sloda. It's a little risk, but let's take a peek over here. Try to find something other than a drone. And if we go about here, we shouldn't have line of sight down this way, so we won't get a flank reveal. Shouldn't. Uh, let's get Rodriguez over there as well. Beat, beat. And Shmua. And Morpheus, just steady weapon. I've got movement here. Eyes on the prize. Okay. Uh, I'm a little. Cautious of what might be over here. Now I can't quite get to that cover. I think we'll go across this bridge. Can we even go down that way? Yeah, we can. Not that I think I would want to. That's a really nice bit of corner cover. Oh, and the game is telling us there's like six million things standing here, apparently. Uh, I don't think... I don't know if we have line of sight through this hologram thing. I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, let's get Mannequin down this way. Rodriguez... On the opposite side of where a drone might come. And Morpheus... Uh, I honestly don't know. I could get you over here. These car park things are actually kind of handy. Giving you line of sight and not getting caught by the drone. Drone's coming back. I'm glad we got out of that place. We can still see it. Uh, it's actually Morpheus that can see it. Peeking back around through this window, if you can believe it. And it looks like nobody else. And we could get Morpheus up here for a steady weapon. I think I'd like to get Morpheus up here if I can, but that's a long way to go. Oh, it's like two turns. And line of sight to the stuff over there is probably going to be better. Orders confirmed. On the move. We still see nothing but drones. Uh, let's be a bit careful. We've got all the time in the world. Got it covered. And mannequin behind the truck, please. On Overwatch. 
Okay. Here we go. Uh, looks like double trooper officer. And that other group, I think we're moving around back here that we could see for some reason. I wish I'd brought a flamethrower. We've got grenades. That'll work on these three. Um, let's have a peek over this side as well if we can. Oh, I think I see... Yeah, it's like snake trooper something that, that we shouldn't be able to see over there. Okay, uh, where's our grenadier? Where's our sniper going to be? That's perfect, actually. Uh, I'll be able to steady weapon if I put him, if I put Morpheus here. But if I put him here, can you see all of them? Kind of hard to tell. One, two, three, one, two. So line of sight is a bit better from this spot. And really good from here. I think we'll just not steady weapon this turn. Because I, I don't trust that drone. I want the drone to not be able to see him. Um, alright, so gonna... Over here, I think. Ranger... Here for the moment. Grenadier over here. And stealthy boy, mannequin. Uh, just head over... It actually go down here, but there might be a civilian or something. Let's just go here for now. I don't think they're going to walk right into our faces just yet. Uh, or I could be totally wrong. As long as we can still move our shinobi, I don't mind. We can. Everyone else is kind of stuck. Um, this is the part where I regret not having steady weapon. Theoretically, they could just walk into us here. And I think that'd be okay, because we'd get three Overwatch shots at point blank. Uh, let's move our Shinobi... Over this way. Let's do this. So we can maybe get eyes on the other group. We'll steady weapon on Morpheus and everyone else overwatch. And they're walking back. Alright, so now we're in position with the steady weapon. Morpheus could 99% the Advent Officer with 67 crit. Uh, that would be 6 to 8 damage, unless it doesn't crit. One shot the Officer. But the other two would be free to move as they please. Unless we Overwatch first. Um... I don't, I'm not too married to trying to getting trying to get two shots from our ranger on an ambush, but I think three to six damage times three is going to be a lot more effective uh, for an opener. I think we'll probably have our gunner Rodriguez. Move up here. Overwatch. I can't decide whether to overwatch or potentially shoot twice or move and shoot with our ranger. The enemy will be able to see the ranger and know not to go where he can flank. And... 
guess we'll go double overwatch. And a regular sniper shot. Okay, grenade away. Let's go. Two dead. And... Completely wiped out. Fantastic. We still have an overwatch shot from the gunner as well. And if I want to... I could almost definitely kill Stun Lancer. Or well, 67%. A bit more than 67%. If we hit non-crit, we can kill him if we're lucky. Oh, it's actually double Stun Lancer. But I don't think we're going to get a sh better shot next turn. But we only get the one Overwatch shot if I do it now. They'll probably run this way in a moment regardless. And we could get a, a good flesh from Mannequin, probably. So let's just go over here. And maybe toss the evac close to our sharpie. And steady weapon. Hopefully the drones don't show up right now. They didn't move? Uh, okay. Alright. I think what I'll do is just snipe one of the stun lancers, and we'll see where they scatter to, and potentially get some flank shots for free, because they won't know where to hide, necessarily. Alright, Morpheus out, here's your debut. 67% chance to wipe out, uh, 67 plus a bit chance to wipe out a stun lancer. And it's a good. Fantastic. That was a crit and a mineral. Bonk indeed. Uh, they haven't, like, reacted which I find very strange and kind of concerning. That means I can't, like, move my guys up and take a shot in the way that I had imagined. Heading to that location. Um, okay. I want to know where the rest of them are. We've killed three, four, there's two more here, that's six, seven, eight. We've probably seen the entire map, actually. These two squads plus the drone. Alright, Overwatch. Um, Overwatch from here. That might have been a tiny risk, actually. Oh, we're like one tile off. Or two tiles off. Getting revealed there. And we can see exactly where we can go. Well, based on where the snake is, not where the stun lancer is. So I think with Rodriguez, we'll probably just stay put or come back here. I want to get that loot next turn, if possible. Um, and we'll get our grenadier close, but not able to get line of sight. There we go. And a miss. Enemy is still up. Insert this is fine dog for the rest of Advent troops right now. Another miss. Shot wide. That's not great. And Stun Lancer gets a free shot. But it's long range at heavy cover. Okay, let me just fix chat real quick. There we go. Uh, we can 95%, a little bit less than that, kill Viper, and that's it for the flesh. I'll, I'll probably do that. What about Morpheus? We got a 74 on the flanked Stun Lancer. 
let's give it a try. It's a miss. It's still moving. Okay. Uh, if this, if the stun lancer doesn't die, I'm concerned about mannequin. So let's try. Oh, I can actually get a flank. Uh, I can actually get a very good flank good to go. with the chain gun and with uh, combatives. But if I flesh, uh, if I, if our shinobi cuts up the snake, the shinobi is going to be closer to the stun lancer and probably who is going to target. Oh, never mind. 75% flank, it's a kill. And let's grab the Viper. Hopefully. About a 90% chance. Not quite. I believe next turn the Viper is going to curl up and cuddle with uh, Mannequin. Which is only going to deal one damage. So I'm pretty sure we can get away with this. Get all the loot. Um, I could take a shot with Sloda, or I could overwatch on the off chance that it's going to try and run or something. Solid copy. And if it does take a shot, at least this will have... Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Alright, that's everything except for a pair of drones, I believe. And I am a little bit worried about Morpheus, though, as a sharpshooter with no pistol against said drones. Uh, but I'll probably get Morpheus to reload and... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Steady weapon? Unless we find the drone right now. Nope. Um, Alright, let's grab the loot with mana in. Probably this one first. And reload with Sloda. And Shmua still has three grenades actually. We'll move everyone back this way to get uh, get together to deal with the drones. Or at least a couple of people. Time to go. I don't think we're going to be needing the evac this time. Got it. We found something. It's a drone. And Morpheus may not have an angle. Morpheus does not have an angle. 59%, that is terrible. 73 is a lot better. A max roll will kill it. Uh, should we just try? It's not going to do a whole lot if it survives. Oh, wow. Rodriguez, good shot. What did I miss? Uh, let's see. My Wi-Fi is working again. Uh, you missed... Oh, it depends when you left. We had a couple of relatively easy and quite successful missions since the absolute disaster at the start of the stream. Uh, I actually need two turns to activate this stuff. I don't think it finishes the mission, though, until we kill that last drone. Where's our ranger? Oh, right, you already dashed. All right, let's just uh, maybe overwatch here. Overwatch. And Morpheus. Well, the drone could come out this way. I guess Morpheus could just overwatch. I don't think we're alone out here. Come get some. And nothing so far. Uh, nice animation on planting the X4 charges. There we go. 
I think that must reveal us to everything on the map as well. Okay, let's get our gunner up here. Interesting choice for how to get there. Uh, and I guess we may as well overwatch. Just because it's only a drone that we're dealing with doesn't mean we need to get sloppy. I'm all over it. Got it moving. And Shmua over here. On overwatch. Okay. Movement. It's close. Affirmative. Covering now. Nothing. Here, droney, 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 drone. Nothing? Where is it going? On the move. Found it. You sneak. Uh, that's not what I was expecting. Okay, we got an 86. Point blank is way too far away. Uh, do we have a snipe? We do not have a snipe. Not too surprising. Let's get our shinobi in range for a flesh next turn. I could honestly just... You know what? We know this drone is the only enemy left on the map. Uh, if it stuns, I don't care. So it'll definitely want to stun at point blank. I'm pretty sure. Sloda is stunned. Mannequin has a flesh and I think miss. Because otherwise we wouldn't see the UI anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rodriguez. <laughs> That's probably too close actually. Whoops. Negative five aim. There we go. Wi-Fi dies during the one mission where you had to destroy the mini objectives to gain more turns. Oh yeah. Uh, someone got burned. And we got very lucky to only have them take one, one hit point of health damage somehow. That could have gone way worse, that one. That was our new technical. Okay. We got three promotions, which is good because that was half the point of that mission. Depth perception. Nice. Morpheus can have that. Uh, plus 5 aim reduces enemy dodge by 25 if you're at a higher elevation. Which, you've, you're already about to get death from above as well. Plus 2 hit point is going to be good on someone really lacking it. Air triggered data pad is nice too. That's a very bright uh, picture. Okay, Morpheus. Death from above and depth perception. Fantastic. Uh, how do you compare? Morpheus is our best sharpshooter. I mean, not the highest ranked. Stardust is... also has damn good ground. That's plus 10 with elevation as well. So like... Oh, but you... Stardust... Uh, Stardust Nebula doesn't have depth perception yet. Whoops. Why does he look like Guile from Street Fight? <laughs> Alright, Mannequin is gonna go with Blade Master, I think. We could go for Lone Wolf, slightly less damage, more aim, but only if seven tiles away from allies. Also plus defense. 
Hmm. I probably should, right? Especially with the relatively low... It's not very low aim. We had like 95% to hit that snake. 71 as a Lance Corporal. It's not good or bad, it's just is. But with the negative two dodge, five health. Yeah, I, I think we'll go Lone Wolf. And one more promotion, Rodriguez. Uh, formidable. Yeah, we're going. We're, we're building a tank with Rodriguez. So plus two ablative hit points and fifty percent less damage from explosions. Seven base health. Very nice. Uh, that's four ablative hit points with our current tech as well. If we're carrying a one of these. Or alternatively, uh, if we only go with two ablative hit points, I could have plus one mobility. Or give him some special ammo. It actually gives us a lot of flexibility. Okay, 12 days until we find the skirmishes, 14 hours till we clear this, 20 hours until supply drop, which is going to give us maybe a hundred-ish supplies almost. Uh, how, many, how many of our best soldiers do we have available right now? Soon? Well, 12 days, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 16 days. I think we'll hopefully gear up the network tower in 16 days. Ballistics modeling. The speed of all weapon research is increased. That sucks. Even if we got it relatively soon. We have to have four regions and two radio towers to make that happen? That's... that's ridiculous. Ridiculously underwhelming. What do I do? What did I do to earn the nickname Needle? I think it was just uh, like an auto generated one. Um, when you leveled up from Rookie to Squatty. Or it was there. Yeah, it was, I think that was it. It was there before. Who hurt me? Uh, who hurt Stardust? I believe it was... Was it a sword guy? Stardust got hurt when he ran back to save... Um... Uh, the R one. Rorosaur. Stardust saved Rorosaur and got hurt. I think it was by a stun lancer, yeah. What's my character's date of birth? Uh, let's see. Um, does it say that? Oh, yeah, May 6th, 2004. It's just like a default uh, biography. Bro? Don't tell me. Same year? <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, I think we've got everything set up for the moment. Let's move time forward. We get 48 supplies and some alloys. I really want some Illyrium Crystals, so we'll probably go here. As much as 71 supplies sounds great as well. Except this is going to take ages to dig out. 48 supplies, 10 alloys, or 70... Time to complete 15 days. Time to complete 15 days. Okay. And this one would take 23. Let's do this. In 
in which year does this game take place? Uh, 2035. All right, supply drop. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance. Oh, hasn't your tone changed? And you have outdone yourself. All right, looks like we have no information on the chosen. Uh, permanent advent scopes and permanent advent laser sights are coming in this month, unless we're lucky enough to be able to stop them. Let's go get a hundred supplies. And hopefully we can start getting... Uh-oh. Well, there's the scopes. Uh, hopefully we can look at getting laser weapons soon. What does it take? Well, we'll need some Illyrium for the actual weapons themselves as well, I think. Five crystals. Um... Someone else to pilot the Avenger. I, I literally need one Avenger more crystal. On which we'll likely have by the time that research is done, even if I don't go out of my way. But it's so expensive. Jeez. To exchange one resource for the other. I think we should just break down a core instead. Uh, I don't see anything we want to buy here. We've got enough grenadiers, probably. Another engineer isn't the worst investment we could make, but I think we have enough for now. And another scientist doesn't really help yet. I think we just hold on to our supplies so we can make weapons. Uh, and I think we need to find a mission... We've got quite a few people available right now, and it's still like 16 or 14 or 15 days till we're going to gear up the, uh, the tower. So let's get everyone on intel. Setting course for the Arctic. Find a good mission as soon as we can. Also, we should see advent strength go up in this region, and possibly go down from a nearby region uh, quite soon, because we got their attention. We got a new gunner, and a new uh, specialist. We can't give them any specific skills just yet, but we can look at their stats. 4 health, 71 aim, that's actually kind of Kind of pretty good for a squatty. Uh, maybe we'll go with Overwatch for this one. Open fire. Ranged attacks have plus 10 aim and crit against targets that are at full health. That is perfect for reaction fire. And only 20 skill points. Deep cover. Also absolutely amazing. Uh, if you're on reaction fire. If you go into Overwatch, it doesn't count as attacking this turn. So that's just, like, free uh, hunker down plus defense. Grazers are upgraded. Yeah, this is some good stuff for a shooter. Uh, even though it's only four hit points, I think we probably will go Sentinel. Or this one. Most of our new recruits have never worked in close quarters like the Avenger. Before and I'll probably get deep cover so she doesn't get shot at as soon as possible. Uh, the aliens don't like to bother shooting at the thing that they've got a low chance of hitting if there's a better target. Uh, we also had a new gunner, Camille Durando, I think it was. 20 dodge and 5 health. Wow. 69 aim is good uh, for a squatty. Or it's not bad anyway. Deep cover. Ever vigilant. Okay, that. Ever vigilant. Lightning dash slash 
implacable move if you score a kill. Uh, that's actually some really good stuff to make up for low mobility. Uh, I think we'll go for like a pretty standard shooter chain shot. I don't think her aim is that high that I would take chain shot. Cool under pressure, maybe rapid fire, maybe kill zone, maybe combat fitness later. Um, but definitely this stuff. Cool. Uh, what do we got going on? We have two rookies left. One of them I want to train as a Psy Soldier. The other one... Average aim, atrocious movement, excellent health. Uh, and really good hacking. I think. So... Let's probably make Durand a specialist. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, we've got 174 supplies. I should be making probably the training center. Let's-a go. And it doesn't really matter how quickly the training center is built because the training center lets us spend uh, these skill points. Uh, which happens instantly. All right, let's look for more missions. Someone recovered from their wounds. We got seven days, four hours. Recover item, find a lead, intel package, intel. That's pretty good. Uh, and it's in a region with only three strength. All right, let's gear it up. What have we got? Uh, midden seems good. Um, I think this is a lie. It's always eight turns for this objective timer. And if we're going to bring a sharpshooter, it should be a snapshot, which we don't have yet. You need kind of a specific set of stat points for snapshot to be good. Um, so... Excuse me. I think we'll go with... Pancake... Wait, that's the gunner. Well, we'll probably go with him anyway. Shmua? Shmua has like the same stats as Freeman, basically. Uh, Sloda. Can we have a technical? We can have a technical. Uh, Sidorova's back. Maybe some healing on this person with extra mobility. Also gives us immunity to poison uh, on Sidorova. Whoops. Oh, one little right click and it's all over. Okay. Uh, let's see, Midden, Sloda, uh, our Technical, and Shmua. Hey, Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and I think a Gunner might be okay. That still gets us up to extremely light, just barely, I think, necessarily. Uh, do we have any more suppressors? We do. Advanced suppressor. Let's put it on the big loud gun. We've already got one. Uh, let's put a second suppressor on... it doesn't really matter. The technical. 
how goes the fights? Mostly good, except the first mission was an absolute nightmare. And we did get our first death for the campaign. It's actually... I'm, I'm actually very surprised that we got everyone else out. And it was a successful mission. Literally everyone except for Sigma Bean either died or came back with one health. Uh, I think this is the squad. Oh, except we're missing... Oh, you've got Formidable. Yeah, that'll be more than enough hit points for now. So we'll give you, like, a bit of extra mobility. Actually, no. Take the AP rounds. We can still apparently get to extremely light with this. Okay. Off you go. But you made it? Yeah, it was actually pretty clutch. Okay. Now, how many people do we have available for missions? A few. We could probably gear up one more mission. Especially if we take people out of being Haven advisors. Also, uh, I shouldn't have left my... Um, it worked out okay last time, but I shouldn't have left SMG wielding specialists as Haven advisors. Morpheus, get in there. Another recruited to Haven. Fantastic. Let's go gain some extra intel. And what's next? Zero days, seven hours. I don't think we'll be able to pull that off, actually. Uh, it would be like 50 enemies on high alert if we tried. Uh, Gorilla Ops, 16 hours, smash and grab. That's unfortunate, we need a smash and grab. Con B has recovered from wounds. 10 days, 9 hours. Is this, is this a trap? I mean, their strength is still 1. Scientist and an intel package, extremely light. For the West well, corridor. I hope it's not a trap. I think they have to have a lot of advent strength in the region for it to be a trap, right? Let's take a uh, mannequin or sheep singer. Sheep singer is a spy. And I want to save our spy for, like, a solo mission, if it comes up. Uh... So I have to bear in mind we've got Haven Advisor, Grenadier, and Sharpshooter. Okay, Extract VIP, we're not taking a Sharpshooter for that. Oh, I actually could... Uh, I actually could just send Sheep Say Meh on this, but we've got 10 days. But if it's a trap, it would be ideal if we just have a spy sneak out of there. When the spy is questionable? Uh, alright, let's try... we got one, two, three, four, five, six people we could add without bringing in Haven advisors. I'd really like to get a bunch of people some XP. Uh, we got three days until... Oh, this one can't be a... The COVID op that we're on right now can't give us an ambush. So, yeah, let's go for it. Uh, let's go with... Gunner. Um, assault. I mean, specialist, assault, different kind of specialist, and yet another specialist? Triple specialist? 
okay. As long as it's not a trap, which I don't think it could be... Uh, this should be fine. Don't actually have the skills yet on Taylor. She's like a squatty. Uh, she, she is a squatty. She's basically like a rookie at the moment. Um, hair trigger, laser sight, advanced laser sight, auto loader. We'll give the auto loader to the gunner. And... Let's actually give a shotgun to our assault. Oh, but this is the high aim, low mobility assault. Even so, that might be the way to go. I don't know. Uh, do we have super high mobility on anyone? Nope. Not even a little bit. This is probably fine. Uh, we got double... Plus two hit points. Reactive pupils. Focus well. That's pretty weak. For the, uh... PCS. We'll just send them in for now. Okay, so that's a probably a training mission, and spearhead with our kind of A-team at the moment uh, is one day 15 hours until 100%. Let's get some more intel. I am the Sky, and Rorosaur have recovered from wounds. Fantastic. Uh, if we go now, it's very light. We've got one day, ten hours left. If it stays at strength three, it should reach extremely light. Yummy intel, indeed. I am sure you will find the That's psionics finished, but we have to build a whole lab to take advantage of it. Uh, which costs us 150 plus an Illyrium core, plus we have insufficient power. I knew I should have skipped this, for now at least. Okay. Um, how many cores do we have? I certainly admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field. They face a well inventory. Well we have four. Yet they never waver in their I think it's about time we crush an, an Illyrian core down for crystals. Uh, so we can do laser weapons. Normally it wouldn't be necessary. My lazy injured bum better heal quickly before I... Before I re-injure it? Uh, you've actually got 45 hours left until you're back in action. Okay, we gain intel. We see another mission that we can't do right now. Start liberating the region. Recover item from vehicle, 6 days, 7 hours, very light. Uh, we're already trying to liberate this uh, new arctic region. Uh, but more importantly, we can't really spare the troops right now. Oh, this one's already on extremely light. Let's go. Let's -a go. It's an unusually long load time. Okay, we got a rural setting, Operation Iron Fist. So is Advent the alien race or something? Advent is basically like the, the government that they put in place. 
Detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. But they're using both hard and soft power, let's put it that way. Uh, Midden should probably be able to get up to this car, but there might be a drone waiting. Let's get our technical up here. Seems a good. Uh, and actually, you can go up here. Oh, I got a spoiler that there's something up here with two armor points. It's probably a mech. I don't think... I don't think we could see hunter drones yet. Probably. This is a tiny bit risky, but it's probably fine. And... Don't really have a good spot to put our ranger. How about Sluder up here. Midden and Shmua dash forward somewhere. Oh, I'll put Midden way over here. So if fighting is going to start soon, we can probably... Oh. Force is spotted. Well then. I'm on it. Uh, drone flamer and a gunner and... A sentry. That's terrifying. Um, I think the flamers are immune to fire. Nope, not at this level. But I don't see much opportunity to set up to get a flame on them. Which mods adds all the small enemy drones? That's part of Long War. Uh, Midden? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How much can we grenade for? Three to six. Double flamer. That is actually freaking horrifying. Wait, it's not double flamer. It's flamer gunner. That's still pretty scary. Flamer gunner sentry. Hmm. How should we go about this? I could... Just go past them for now. This is th this mission is on a really ridiculous timer, so maybe I should. Um. All right, let's move pancake up here. Slow to have a peek. Get to the corner door. Uh, let's get our... If I go over here, the drone could come this way. Let's just get our technical up here. And Shmua. Behind the heavy cover. Hmm, I actually want Pancake further over this way. Now that I look at it. Got it. And mid and stay here where you can keep an eye on these guys if they're going to be a problem. Overwatch. Yeah, they're going to be a problem. Okay. Let's get... It's, we're actually not far off. Wait, do we have a specialist? We don't have a specialist. That was a bit dumb. If we did, we're only like a couple of turns or a turn or two from having line of sight to hack the objective. Position confirmed. Um, I can't get that door open this turn. Can't get Sloder in one of those comfy corners. Can we take a peek over this way? So far, so good. Oh, there's something with eight health. I think it's a sectoid. Oh. Seem a little more agile than the ones we fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens' front line, though. First muton. I really. Really want to say, uh, want to greet them with a flamethrower. 
Let's get our technical up here. We can open the door next time. And Rodriguez. I don't know where that drone went. Midden over here. Oh, we see the drone. So it could go... We're already taking a little bit of a risk with Sidorova on the left side of this door, I think. I don't want to put uh, a cannon on the right side of it that has a bigger detection radius. So we'll just move up about here. And our grenadier come over here. Copy that. And midden. Uh, can't quite get to that corner. Just stay over here okay. so you should be able to see the drone or the flamer. This is War of the Chosen. It's a uh, long war of the Chosen. So it's uh, it's long war with War of the Chosen, kind of. All right, we open door. We can't get close enough to flame. It looks like these guys are never going to move. And I can't rock it because we're going to destroy the objective. Also, I don't know why we just lost sight of... Muton. It's standing right here. There's there's no reason why we shouldn't have line of sight on it. Uh, I'm going to do a little save and reload. Because I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be able to see that Muton. Unless there's like a single tile of heavy cover in the way somewhere. There isn't though. Why can't we see him? <laughs> Bruh. Okay. How am I supposed to even get line of sight on this muton that we sh definitely should be able to see right now? Oh, that's a little frustrating. We've only got five turns until the container spontaneously combusts. I could... I could bring our grenadier up here. Now we can see him. And, and now we have line of sight to shoot him. That is definitely a bug. Okay. So I could grenade them both without destroying uh, the container. I'm really glad I brought armor piercing on our gunner. We don't have a flank on the muton, even though he's standing still. Like, he's just standing around not expecting a shot. But this tiny little bit of the pew on the left side of him means if I shoot from here, it's not a flank. Um, as long as the drone doesn't show up, I could take a flank shot on him next time. Next turn with the uh, cannon. And then we could move up and flame him, I guess. Good to go. This is a little sketchy. I don't know where that drone went, and I don't like it. Can't... I don't think I can slide into here without getting detected. Not a thousand percent sure how that works. Scanning. Okay. Uh, and as for Midden, uh, I think I want to keep you right here, where you can see these guys. Understood. Moving out. I'm on it. 
they're actually moving... Oh, I was going to say further away, but it's kind of closer. Midden can get out, though. And these guys can open up on Muton. Just home late? Oh no. Don't forget to throw an evac, indeed. Okay, so I think we take... It's only a 65% because of the defense. 65% uh, chance we really have to kill this Muton. Like, before it takes an action. Especially if we're going to be bunched up like this. But 65 with armor piercing. These guys might not even hear anything with the suppressor on the cannon. I don't think I want to take any reaction shots. Well, I could I could let Sloda have a reaction shot. And Technical's going to move up in flame. Grenade, Grenadier's going to grenade. It's a little risk moving the Technical up, but... Burning the Muton has to be done, unless we kill him outright. Now. Okay, this is it. Oh, eight damage. Very nice. They know I'm here now. And we shoot Muton for one more damage. Suppression. That kind of sucks, but hey, if we hit it with anything else, it's dead. Uh, no matter how much armor, you'll do one damage minimum. I want to flame the sectoid now. And I could just spend a grenade on the muton. I think that's worth it. Do I even need to move first? I do. Hopefully we don't... Uh, wake something else up or get flanked. Or kill a civilian. That would be bad. Fantastic. Alright. Let's toss a de flare. Uh, I think about here seems good. And burn sectoid. Hopefully don't spot anything else. Try and keep it from doing any mind control shenanigans. Fantastic. Pretty good chance it'll die from burning. 33% uh, uh, chance it takes 3 damage next turn, and it'll be guaranteed after that. Alright, let's get Midden back with the best possible line of sight on where these guys are going to go. Probably about here. Moving to position. Wait, are they not on alert? Well, we're about to find out, I think. And the sectoid's guaranteed dead. Fantastic. There's almost exactly where I expected the extra troops. We've killed two, that's three, there's a drone as well. And there's three behind us, so that's everything on the map. They are not on alert. Okay, then. Are you kidding me? Uh, our technical is burning from the fire that spread from her own flamethrower one turn ago that she used. Ah, okay. That's, um, that's good. At least we gave her a med kit. <laughs> uh, we've actually got a flank shot on the gunner over here, and the only thing that we're risking waking up this way is the drone. So I think we'll go this way. Uh, the yelling civilians, though, might put these guys on edge. Nope. Apparently they're deaf. 
Alright, 83% chance, a little bit less than that to kill Gunner. Let's go. And it's a complete miss. Good job. That's not good, indeed. Yeah, we're basically losing our turn with our technical. But luckily we do have the heal, at least. Uh, Sloda could not get a flank shot, actually, on the gunner. Shmua should probably grenade them. The other two are regular troopers, I think. Yeah. So... Let's take the heavy cover. On your order. And I could 79% uh, flank shot the Grenadier, but it's with an SMG. It wouldn't... I'd have to max roll crit to kill him. So we're not doing that. This freaking civilian doesn't want to let me put the grenade right on the gunner's head. So I guess we'll do this. And he's still alive. But at least with a red fog he won't have as good aim. Sloda can't even execute him. We didn't destroy the cover. Um, and we've only got three turns. I could bring Sloda over here for a Overwatch flank shot, but if something else moves first, uh, it's not going to work. And we're we're just going to have to move up and heal with our technical. Okay. We don't have to do anything about that sector. I, I didn't know it was up there. But, uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about him, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, where could I put Sloda that would be the biggest problem for these guys? I think over here is fine. It also minimizes the chance of these guys ever seeing us before everyone else is dead. Um, should I bring Midden over to actually fight? Or should we keep the stealth? I think keeping the stealth for at least one more turn uh, is the way to go. But I'll bring him a bit closer, so maybe... Well, we'll see. Overwatch. And execute. Fantastic, that was the gunner too. Missed. And one more shot to weather. Low cover, but it's just a trooper. Not too surprising it missed. These guys still don't know what's up. That could not be better. And the drone is awake. Okay, so we got one trooper, one drone to deal with this turn. Uh, we've got all kinds of ways to deal with them, but we want to hacky-hack the objective as well. Uh, how much damage is knife? 2 to 4 plus 3 crit. We could potentially do that. Um, what about our ranger? Can't get close enough for a flank. I could use up our flamethrower on this guy. I'm on it. SMG might kill him though. Two to four plus one. Not very likely to kill him outright. They have two thirty threes. Uh, nowhere good to go with Sloda. 
Um, if we kill this guy first... What's more likely, the knife or the shot? 66 aim, probably the knife. 100% 2 to 4 plus 3, let's go. Not high crit chance. That couldn't have been worse. Good job. What about our grenadier? Can't get there to flank. And I've made it rather awkward for myself. Uh, I guess just move up this way so we're further away from the unaware squad. And finish this guy off. Okay. Uh, I think we use flamethrower and this time hopefully not set ourselves on fire immediately. Two damage plus he's burning, that's a guaranteed kill. Uh, and that just leaves getting ready to deal with these guys. Assuming we don't just run to the evac instead. Which, considering they have uh, three scary enemies, is definitely not the worst idea. Unfortunately, I can't actually hack this turn. We're one tile off. So, Technical could do it in the same amount of time. I think with Sloder we will reload it's killing time. and maybe move away from the fire that doesn't stop spreading. But we want to avoid line of sight to these guys. One off, indeed. Wait, what? Oh, that guy that's on fire is saying that he's flanked. Okay. Alright, let's go where we can potentially see where these guys go. Trooper is still burning. He can't take a shot. Oh, I forgot about the drone. Oh no. One damage disoriented. Uh, and I, because of that animation, I didn't see which way this guy went. They're probably. They probably moved back this way. Yeah, yep, and they seem to still be unaware. Okay. Uh, get some height, Rodriguez, and murder drone, if you please. Also, this is the last turn that we can hack the objective. And that's a miss. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Next level of Clueless. Hey, Boovin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They are indeed rather clueless. Uh, one new rebel or two new rebels join the haven in this region. We have 1% chance for both of these somehow. Let's go. That's not quite going to do it. And that's what you get when you don't have a specialist for hacking. Um, I kind of want to grenade the the drone. Oh, I can't. We're disoriented. That's not even an option. I was going to say the downside is the sound, but... Alright, drone is on one health. That's good. I think we'll probably run out of here without fighting the scary squad. Um, with that said, I want to avoid Midden getting spotted. Trooper is a dead, doesn't drop any loot to tempt us back. Drone is going to move and take a really poorly aimed shot. 
Fantastic. And that fire is still spreading by the sound of it. Wow. The roof fell out. Okay. Um, could we move over here? And... Oh, there they are. Perfect. So... We're not getting to the evac without getting spotted by them. Unless maybe we go this way first. Um, that drone is still there, though. How about you poke the drone? Probably in range to dash to the evac next turn. And then let's get everyone over in this general direction. With the way line of sight works in this game, if I put them here, they won't hide. They'll peek out trying to shoot something. Uh, but if I put them here, they won't get spotted. And that sign thing is actually in the way of this angle. So we'll put someone with less mobility, Sloder, right about here. Uh, our technical is already just not quite close enough to get out, so just move up a bit. On the move. On Overwatch. Shmua can probably go Moving up here. Scanning. And midden. Uh, get back behind the car, I guess. Wait, they didn't move. How did we lose sight of them before? Okay. So we can get out. 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 Fantastic. I just hope it doesn't... Uh, they don't get any overwatches. I don't think they can... If I do it on my turn. Rolling out. Hello. I'm busted. Busted. Oh no. Why are they all dark now? What? Okay. Into the evac. Final. Into the evac. I think I almost got camera jolted into oblivion there. And if you please, into the evac. And I don't think anyone gets any free shots right now. Midden does, but... Well, there's a very small chance Midden claps this uh, sentry. Let's go. Nothing. And that's a mission. And zero flamers were fought that day. Unless you count the flames from our own flamethrower. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruiter. I could so easily have not given that technical a med pack. I'm so sorry, what? You had like a 2% chance of killing him. It just would have been a tiny bit of extra XP. I think, uh, I think you get more XP from missions in Longbor as well. Compared to kills. Alright. Napalm X. Fantastic. Uh, Midden. We're going to go with Cutthroat. Armor piercing against biological enemies. Plus 15 crit chance. Plus 2. Oh, and just plus 2 damage. Very nice. Uh, Sloda. Get some cool under pressure. Reaction shots can crit now. 
Very cool. And who's this? Rodriguez and Shmua. I don't see why not. Gunner and a Grenadier. That's actually a good fit. <laughs> Rodriguez and... Ah... Perfect. We can thank Advent for the inspiration. Okay. One hour till we get a skirmisher. And we get resistance contacts. Oh, is that like a new region? That's actually excellent. Advent strength over here is still one. This is still five. This is still three. Um, okay, let's go. New and we'll have a look at who we've got available right now as well. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. Fantastic. Please don't have 13 mobility. I'm begging you. 15, that's okay. Okay, Th thank you. That, that'll do, Betos. Thank you. Okay, my... Oh my god. We have the soldiers to spare. We should deploy them on a central, please. Please. Okay. Skirmisher, please. Okay. Move him. Uh. In. Uh, and let me just mark that off. On the all list. Uh, we've done Morpheus, we've done Mannequin, we've done Boobim. Fantastic. Alright, so skirmishers. Uh, they're very, very good at getting in the enemy's face and shooting them twice and hacky slashing. 68 aim on a corporal is not great, but if they're going to get in a point blank, that's probably fine. Usually, 5 health is good, dodge is fine, hack I don't care. Uh, 15 mobility is, like, just enough for me to not be upset. We're going to take total combat because 5 aim and 1 mobility is, like, da, basically. Also, uh, these two are often... Well, justice, using the grapple to pull something to you... I don't know about that usually, actually. Um, but Justice and or Wrath, the opposite, they can be good for a low probability, high reward, low risk kind of use sometimes, but 5 aim, 1 mobility, and a grenade only slot, that's hard to argue with. Plus, longer range for your grenades, very difficult to argue with. Um... So we've got 16 mobility with a grenade and ceramic plating. That's excellent. 73 aim. Uh, we're going to take probably reflex. No. That doesn't... I don't think this uh, triggers very often. I could get an extra grenade basically for free, or we could take Wrath, pull yourself to the enemy, deliver a strike, and it only costs one action, and if it misses, nothing happens. The strike is guaranteed to hit if the grapple is successful. Hmm. I think, I think this is probably worth, uh, I'll probably take, all of these three are tough to choose from actually, give someone an extra action, 
only unlike the officer stuff it's not per mission it's every five turns which is effectively once per mission unless it's a very long mission um which there are a couple of bonus move if we kill something i think it's going to be chain shot we we'll use this at point blank uh whiplash is actually amazing really really high chance to hit uh lots of damage to mechanicals uh i've never tried interrupt it seems really situational retribution is good melee attack anything that comes into range and we'll we'll see when we get further uh i'm definitely taking reckoning though because that's like it's basically flesh but it takes one action which is insane especially combined with uh where is it actually oh it's right back here you start with it hit and run shoot at a flanked enemy and you get an ex you get an action back Panic any enemy that attacks this unit, depending on will. Two mobility with every kill, that's actually pretty awesome. Lasts two turns. Close encounters, gain a bonus action after taking a standard shot with your primary weapon at an enemy within four tiles. Um, it doesn't stack with hit and run, but it could be used to hit something that can't be flanked twice. That might actually be the way to go. What have we got for bonuses? Grazing attacks is always good. Zone of control kind of good for something that wants to get in the enemy's face. Low profile is absolutely excellent. Uh, low cover becomes full cover. A free flashbang is also great. And this stuff is too expensive for how good it is. Okay. Um, we've only got two people wounded now. Five days until we get Larius back. I definitely want Larius for the... the network tower. So we could probably... Okay, thank you. Yes, that's why I'm here. Gain ability points. That's not the worst idea right now. Steel corpses, also very good. Uh, we're, we're practically guaranteed to get ambushed at this point. 50%. Yeah, right. Um, so we should probably take one of the missions that lets us send three people. Steel corpses, gain ability points are both very tempting. Um, I don't have a whole lot of... Oh wait, when do we get the five days? In five days we can start spending some of those points, and this is going to take like five days. And in about five days, we want to gear up the network tower. So that works out really, really well. Uh, the corpses are going to take some time to get value out of. So yeah, let's do this. We'll start with the skirmisher. Um, I'm pretty sure we can already get late mail for the skirmisher. So let's... Oh, uh, we can't afford it. Ouch. I saw Tygen muttering to himself in one of the corridors. I'm Shut up, Shen. Uh, Skirmisher. Uh, Jacobek seems good. We want stuff that's fast and that can clap enemies to deal with the, uh, the ambush. We could go Yatuwatu. We could go a technical. How about Newton? How about our 
Irina Sidorova, a flamer technical from last mission. Failure 17%. Do we need higher ranks? 17% still. 12%. Double ranger getting ambushed? Hmm. I really want to maximize the chance of this working, though. If we get ambushed and win the mission, we still get the reward. So yeah, I think we are going with that. We basically need people to camp at the other end. The other four people we select later, if there's a an ambush. Um... Six days. Okay. Alright. Let's grab resistance contacts. Another important step forward in our research. Uh we might be able to research laser weapons now. Fantastic. I'd assume you'd make that research a priority, Commander. We're probably gonna have no supplies though when it's done. But we'll at least have a laser uh, a laser rifle or two. More damage and plus five aim. That's going to be a big help. Contacts plus one. Fantastic. We're actually doing ridiculously well on the contacts front. Uh, I could actually get a new region already. And we'll have just enough, or well, almost enough intel after that to boost a mission. Uh, I think we probably should. Does India count as part of Asia? It looks like it has to, right? Ballistics modeling. I'm not even excited about that bonus, but since we're here anyway, and it's just one more radio tower, maybe we'll do it. It does nothing in the really long term. But time is our main resource in XCOM. But also, the more regions we have, the more we can bounce around from one place to the other. Uh, fighting Advent where it's weakest. Yeah, this has gone from two here to two here. But they're both on two now as opposed to 1 and 3 strength. We're still at 5 strength where we want to do the network tower, though. Attempting to establish local regional contact. We got another squaddy specialist. With neutralizing agents. Uh, not the best aim. I usually like my medics to be shooters, but maybe not this time. Okay, Beros. Thailanders, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I could go like drone killer, medic. Airdrop is probably better than field medic, no matter how you look at it. Is there a Dutch flag? If so, can you make my character Dutch? Uh, okay. Fail safe for hacking, full override for hacking, and restoration. And aid protocol kills fire, poison, and acid, and bleeding. Um, salvo would be nice if we got free grenades. We could airdrop ourselves. And on this character, hit and run would normally be amazing, but not so much here. Okay. Sheep say meh. Uh, wants a Dutch flag. That's Netherlands, right? I 
think. No worries. Okay. I don't know where we could possibly get some supplies at short notice. Uh, we're saving Jake to become a Psy person. Oh, three days and we get, what, 71 supplies actually. That's fantastic. Right when the, uh, right when everything else lines up as well. Although it's eight days for lasers. I guess we can't wait for that. Advent gets plus crit. Advent gets iron skin. Damage reduction against melee. It's permanent as well. Uh, I don't know what enemies get iron skin. Rescue scientist. Three days, 22 hours. We could maybe do it with the spy. So this is going to be sheep say meh job. Uh, here we go. And nobody else. We're going to take some... 16 mobility is probably fine. We'll take some ablative armor and... Uh, plus 2 hit point minus crit. And unfortunately all we've got is Ghost Walker at this point. But that alone is pretty helpful. Covert would be really, really nice. Smaller detection range all the time. Oh wait, it's rescue from vehicle. As opposed to an escort. Uh, well, that could be doable. Um, let's take one of our low-level... squatty... Um... Hackers? Specialists? I might take a smoke grenade as well, actually. I'll drop the nanoscale. Actually, drop the ceramic plating. If you take a scratch, you'll get wounded, but you have negative 25 crit this way against you. A smoke grenade as you use the evac to try and help someone else get out. And we're just going to try sneaking up behind the door of the van and straight run to the evac. Very light? God damn it. Okay. I don't think we have any suppressors to turn the tide from this. We literally just have to get it down one hour though. Uh, potentially, theoretically. Three days, 18 hours, 102%. Okay. I guess we don't get a smoke. Good luck. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the so this We're is... Alive. If you can complete the mission, it's a bonus. Uh, just come back alive is the main thing. And we scan India. Uh, Larius has recovered from wounds. It's been a million years. This is from the first mission today. And let me actually fix this. Larius. There we go. Larius, Larius. Okay. Four hours until training center is done. Seventeen hours until combat readiness comes back. Fantastic. So we can now spend skill points. Uh, well, not this guy. He's busy. Like a dis. We've actually almost got enough points already without dipping into the shared pool to get mid and 
combat fitness. That's going to be good. Uh, nobody's wounded right now. We get our other faction hero back in 13 hours. It's six days until we get laser weapons. I think we're just not doing that. How many armors do we have? Oh, and it's like, what, 16 hours until we get 77 supplies. That's good. So I think that's when we'll uh, queue up the uh, the network tower. Extremely light. Six people. Scientist intel package. Uh, the only concern I had about this is could it, could it be a trap? I don't think it can be when advent strength was one when we started. And now we're going to have more people to choose from for our mission as well. Recon picked up a weak distress signal coming from this area. The resistance confirmed it's one of their codes. So we're moving in to provide an emergency extraction. We'll need to secure the area and escort the VIP to the... Oh, this one's the escort. And we've got loads of people. Coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac. It's on a roof. And it's probably further away than it looked like with that pen. Yeah. Um, that's one big building, though. So if we get up here, we're almost there, more or less. Okay, let's take our one concealed person. Mannequin. Have a peek over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think it was double muton. And we got engineer, trooper, and something. Okay. Well, that's unpleasant. We got dope dog, the hacker, sigma bean, another hacker. Um. This is our scientist. Manakin has a lone wolf. We got a gunner with 69 aim. Nice. 20 dodge. That's actually really good, but we don't have combatives yet. And we got another squaddy with decent aim. And Conby with a shotgun. Okay. I'd really like to avoid fighting these guys, especially right now. Um, I can probably see all of them if I bring Manakin down here. That's a snack. Double Muton would be pretty terrifying right now. Uh, and it's actually one more trooper over here. This one has extra health. Okay, so that's... One, two, three, four, five. That's half the map. It's looking very awkward as far as trying to make a decent move on turn one goes. I could move them all up. Oh, they could get spotted from here when the enemies take a couple of steps. Moving through the buildings doesn't work because everything has windows in all directions in these cities. Uh, this is a very awkward first turn. Let's maybe head over in this direction. I kind of hope we find a drone because we can just pop it. Do something useful with this turn. Taylor's got hardly any movement. I'd like to have her a bit closer, but at the moment, it's not a good idea. We'll see where they go. A 
Okay, that's a good start. I'm more concerned about the Muton, though, even though that's three guys. Muton is coming right for us. Oh! He actually went close enough that our shinobi cannot see him. Uh, where did he go? What the? What? What the? They just vanished. Huh? There should be a spot we can't move to. Where could they be? They didn't smash through the windows. What sorcery is this? I don't trust this at all. I think if we go down this ladder, bad things are going to happen. But I really want to see where they are. Oh, no. Oh, is this it? No, that's a, that's a bit of cover. I, I, I just don't know. If I run anyone over this way, they're definitely going to get spotted. Who would be best to get spotted? I could run the scientist, but he doesn't have enough to, like, get up on this roof where it's safer. It's one Snack, one Muton. I do have a stun to deal with the Muton, but I can't get it close without run and gun. I might just have to run and gun and stun. I really don't want Midden to get spotted. Uh, this is already really bad. Okay. How about... If Sigma Bean goes over here and there's extra stuff this way, we're in big trouble. If I try to go the other way, it's probably just not going to work. What if we all just pile onto the Muton? I'm going. That's where he went? That, that is not what I saw. And they're kind of running away. I can't even see them now. Um, I could have everyone make a break for it this way. I want to see where all that stuff that we have seen is. Okay, that's good. We can now move with warning indicators. There's up to four other enemies, probably some drones, which we should be able to pop. As long as we don't, like, double move all of our engineers. Uh, I want to move everyone enough that the Muton can't catch up. Especially as he'll, like, move forward cautiously and then be like, well, where is everyone? Okay, it seems like there's nothing over here. Uh, Conby, this way, please. Sarah, over here. Dope dog, this way. Still haven't spotted anything. Do we have any more specialists with actions? I don't think so. Let's move our scientist to the corner. Uh, it's Bean, actually. Bean doesn't have line of sight to this tower. Okay, I think if I move Bean over here, there's actually no way for Muton to get a shot. And we'll move Mannequin... Uh... About here, I guess? If we don't see them, we still know about where they are. Something's over here. 
a mech we can definitely deal with with this squad. Overwatch from the trooper. These guys have no idea. And Muton and Snick. We do see them moving, but they don't have a shot. Double move. And still no shot. Okay, that snack is a problem. Midden can't move. What kind of hack do we have? Intel case, de uh, case deception. Deception is huge. Potentially. But it's only 20% chance. One random enemy for four turns. We get to control them. If we hack it. And if we miss, we increase... I think it was every enemy's defense, actually. All enemies gain defense and mobility boost. That is terrifying. Don't think we'll be going for that unless we're really desperate. Alright, we get interference as a free action to remove an overwatch, and we get three of them from Dope Dog. We can half kill the advent mech uh, with... We, we can kill it outright with two specialists. Uh, but dealing with these two, and these two, is just a bit more of a problem. Um... Our scientist should probably come, like, over here. We'll wait till the end to make that decision. Conby could stun or at least disorient the Muton while sprinting up to here and getting himself in trouble. We could hack the mech, but who cares? If we can kill it guaranteed with two actions. I do have the perk on uh, Trojan on Dope Dog that'll... I think deals four damage after it stops being hacked. But I think it's only one turn anyway. It's like just as good as a combat protocol. Alright. Let's move as far to the left as we can. While we deal with these guys. We don't even have a flank from there. On the soldiers. Also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm pretty sure that's the whole map. At most, there is a drone somewhere. Uh, I could actually get in this building. Open the door. Oh, Taylor doesn't have a... Well, you have a shot, at least. Doesn't have combat protocol, though. Bean does. Uh, Bean could go over here, and I'm pretty sure... not get shot at by the Muton or Snake. That was the point of moving here. All right, mech goes down. And we get the loot. Well, we may theoretically be able to get loot. Um, do I have any chance of just killing that snake without... I don't think so. If I stun the snake, does it lose vision? I could stun the Muton. There's a chance we wake some... I, I think we saw them walk way over here, so... It's probably not actually a chance we wake up the other three. I could take a 31% on this Engineer. Yes. Or I could save the Aid Protocol for someone who's going to be exposed.
If Con B had combatives... Well, Con B is not high enough level for that regardless. We could flesh. 100% kill the engineer. 100% uh, kill the trooper. Kill the engineer and we'd have cover against everything as well. So instead of gonna trying to go rescue Manakin, Manakin can just get the hell out of there and kill something and have high cover against the trooper. Target neutralized. And then... I could dash up here for a potential flank on trooper and also to go the direction we need to be going. Gonna be low cover back this way, but we've got seven health is actually not that great. I mean, it's better than most. All right, Camille, dash over here, please. And that just leaves Taylor, Conby. Do we have line of sight on Muton from here? Yeah, I think we do. We were thinking about that before. I think we run and gun and try to stun Muton from long range. But because of our perk, Electroshock, it's at least going to disorient. Sleep tight. And it's a disorient. Not even good. though it was 78% or something. Alright. Uh, VIP... How far can that trooper see? No, I shouldn't be too greedy. Hide down here where you literally can't get shot at. And... I don't think Overwatch is going to accomplish anything. On Sarah Taylor, but... Moving isn't looking that good either. But you've got such terrible mobility. Just get away from the snake and muton. And kind of closer to the evac, I guess. Okay, uh, actually, an Overwatch would have shot at him just now. I definitely should have done that. Oh, wow. Disoriented, long range, through the heavy cover, through the solid metal, after a 71% to stun... On B, killed in one shot. What more can you do, really? Uh, we can execute Trooper. Are we in minimum range? No. But it would be nicer if we weren't behind low cover here. Tired of waiting around. Let's take 79%. Fantastic. Who's keeping score? Mannequin can actually get out this turn. Uh, and I might even do that. Someone has to deal with that Overwatch. Thankfully, Dope Dog can do it without even trying. Um, if we're not going to shoot at enemies anymore... Well, no, I was going to say... It's time to start thinking about the long shot 30% to convert an enemy, but they get bonus mobility if we fail. Not just defense. So that's not really an option. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we are going to pop interference again. And just make a run for it. Behind the heavy cover. Uh, bean. Just get further away, I guess. Oh, well, you can move to this heavy cover, I suppose. Dope dog, head over here. I kind of want to leave our best hacker... 
with Angle to attempt the long shot hack. And it is Dope Dog. It's like 30% to convert an enemy. If we convert the Muton, things are going to look a little less scary. No problem, boss. Oh, I thought we found enemies. Uh, Sigma Bean, take this high cover, I think. And VIP. Hopefully just stay out of range, honestly. No, I think we should at least take this low cover back here. And please don't die. Alright, let's get Monakin out of here. Um, how far away can we get and still hack that thing? Still be in sight of the enemy. Uh, I, th I think we move all the way in here. Muton hopefully double moves. It double moves. And we don't have line of sight to it right now, which is a little disturbing. Snake is gonna poison. If we can get out before it gets through the ablative armor, it really doesn't matter. But it kills mobility as well. And we have nowhere to go. For Camille. Um, okay. I think someone's going to take a shot from the Muton at this rate. Should we go for the long shot hack? I can't really do it with uh, Dope Dog. It has to be Bean. Bean's got the best odds that can actually go for it. But Bean would have to still be exposed afterwards. Okay. Could we maybe hide a poisoned person near a ladder to get out? It looks like yes. And then Dope can get out. Scientist is going to have to run and hide. What's the line of sight like from here? Not great. What about here? Technically exposed, but only if they see us. I think we're going to go for that risk. Taylor can hide here, I think. Might not be able to get out next turn. I think I really should just... Uh, I don't know. Roger that. I might keep Dope Dog here in case we use the third uh, interference. Okay, Bean, get yourself over here to relative safety. Taylor, over this way, I think. Copy that. And end turn. Uh oh. Did he double move? 
What? He's throw. Okay, well, they're not dead. Oh. Wow. Cool. So the snake just happened to go to the exact spot to get line of sight to the VIP. Also, the muton didn't have line of sight to know that a grenade would be good here. They, they never send AoE at a single target. Um, but despite not having line of sight to this spot, Muton threw a grenade right between these two. Yeah, that's, uh... There's no cheating going on by the AI here, don't worry, it's fine. Okay, well, there's no overwatches. We can get our poisoned person out. I think we just do that. Uh, Taylor should stay hidden and run out next turn, I hope. That is some bullshit. It really is. I'm surprised Sigma Bean only took three damage at least. Sigma can get out. Let's do that. Uh, and it's really only Sarah Taylor that's still in danger. Um, if we stay about here... They shouldn't be able to see. Already there. Let's go. So we lost Con B and then we got wall hacked um, into losing the objective we came here for. Yatuatu, thank you for the three months. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. We've got double Overwatch hidden approximately here. I could try running far enough away that they can't see, but we might end up finding those other guys. Moonbeam? Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I wish I had the mobility to put aid protocol on Sarah Taylor before running to the evac. But I don't. If I go this way, they might spot us and get shots anyway. If I deliberately run the overwatch, with cover, it might be our best chance. Otherwise, I'm trying to come all the way back here. Like, one turn, two turns, three turns to get out. And they might just overwatch again. And the other three might show up as well. So, I think... That doesn't quite work. Uh, I think it has to be this. Good luck. No need to ask twice. Missed. And five damage through the high cover. How much health do you have? You're alive. Okay. Cliffhanger. One health left. Alright, and I don't think anyone even gets XP for this, except maybe Midden. We killed, what, three enemies. Midden slashed a engineer. The gunner killed a trooper. And... I can't remember the other one. Oh, there was a mech that we, like, double... Double combat protocol. Chaos at bay. We push back against the darkness with the light of the elders. We cannot fail. Seventy-one per uh, seventy-eight percent to stun, miss. 
Uh, disoriented, long range muton through heavy cover, crit, one hit kill. Same muton later runs up and without line of sight throws a grenade right between two people. And one hit kills the VIP. Fair and balanced. And Lazic was. Oh, yeah, I should have written this down earlier. Let's see. Wall hacked through the floor at sniper range by a trooper. These are the deaths we've got so far. Uh, and I don't have the supplies to train any officers. Okay. I don't like the idea of going into the network tower with no officers, but... We might have to. Oh good, a new mission. Uh, with 17 hours left. I don't think we're doing that. Buppy Cakes. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Two days, 21 hours is not happening. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we got our ability points, and now we have an even higher chance of ambush next time. I think it's actually like capping out. Um, let's see. We've got everyone but Bean available out of our highest ranked soldiers. I think it's time. And... What to do about the resistance ring in the meantime, though? Because we're almost certainly getting an ambush next time. I need fast soldiers to be ambushed. I need four good soldiers to turtle up while they run to the evac. And I need five really good soldiers uh, for the network tower. I think we're going Reaper Skirmisher. Um, a Shinobi might be a good idea as well. A technical for an ambush. And a shooter? Midden plus combat fitness is looking pretty attractive. Two health, four aim, one mobility. I think we can splurge six whole shared points for that. What's our skirmisher got available? Raising attack, slope profile. That's not as exciting right now. Um, rank is really quite low, but still. I think we're taking Jakubek. Larius, Midden, probably Rorosaur. I don't have any flamers with, like, incinerator or phosphorus, so they're not that good yet. Also, we could give Rorosaur light em up before shared points. That's huge. That's like, Rorosaur is now like a second, uh, a second ranger almost, after he uses up his rocket. And 
Andy can get return five? Okay. So, Vorosaur, Reaper Skirmisher, Midden, and maybe Dog Dog? Dog Dog also has Light Em Up, but his aim's not that good. Okay, if that's going to be who it is, who do we put into the resistance ring? I could take a long mission and get the engineer out of here so it's even longer. So that we can have people available. There's nothing that can't get ambushed right now, is there? Not unless we have a staff sergeant. That's a while off. I think I'll go for something where I don't care if they fail and put in a couple of low-level troops uh, with high mobility. Do we even have those? Recover loot could be good or could be absolute garbage. Let's do that. Um, I am the sky. Excellent mobility. Uh, we actually need three of them for this one. How about the technical flamer? That seems good. Also, what happened to our... I think it's on mission somewhere. Sheep say mare has it. The, uh... The plus two health nanoscale vest. And I guess... Pancake? Wait, Pancake's a little bit... No, 66 aim, that's terrible. But a good, like, tank, basically. Okay. 30% failure, I don't particularly care in this case. I probably shouldn't necessarily have given him the armor-piercing bullets. And since it's such a short period, I think we'll finish clearing this out. It also gives us 71 supplies to buy armor and stuff. Okay. How much do we have? 95. Should I go to the black market? Maybe. Oh, that volume. Uh, oh. Okay. This place has the hunter. Let's put Shmua in as Haven Advisor here. Let's double check we have Haven Advisors everywhere. Can't see myself on the roster anymore. Rip, I guess? No, you're alive. Yeah, you're you're one of our best uh, rangers. Alright. It'll cost a little bit of time, but let's check the black market. Oh, we already looked at this. That was a waste. Unless I want to sell a faceless corpse, which I don't, because we can make decent bullets out of those. Um, alright. Time to queue up the network tower. I'm not at all happy about doing this while we have no laser weapons and mutons showing up. But we can't wait forever. If I use Larius as a scout and don't take uh, Shinobi... Maybe that's a better idea. It also means we have a shinobi for regular missions. Uh, so I think we're taking Jakubek. 18 soldier AP available. 30 to get Predator. 
but we don't have multiple reaction shots per turn yet. I think we'll we'll hold on to it for the moment. Uh, and we got dog dog to deal with mechs and stuff. Twenty four AP available. We could take open fire. That's not that exciting with low aim and carrying an SMG. Uh, I don't see anything that is. particularly useful for Dope Dog. I guess we might just get hit and run later. Hit and run plus light him up and got on a shinobi once. Um, so like she'd be sneaking around and then find herself in the middle of a bunch of enemies and her first action taking a shot would literally just not cost an action. can get some pretty crazy synergies sometimes. And Rorosaur for burning and blowing stuff up. Oh yeah, I said we were going to take light him up on Rorosaur. So we've sort of got two ranges, sort of. Stre uh, Steel Soul, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's build some items. We're gonna need some armor. How many armors do we have already? One? The aptly named Predator oh, I haven't even equipped it yet. I wonder if Con B could have used that. I probably wouldn't have put it on that mission regardless. Uh, let's get some Skirmisher and Reaper armor. We're already down to 35. Dope Dog has lots of health, a little bit of dodge, and is going to be out of the way anyway, so it's it's got to be... Uh, it's got to be Rorosaur with this armor that we're going to make right now, rather. And we're down to five supplies. Um... Maybe I shouldn't even go for this mission. We can still do a nanoscale vest, that's it. Steady hands might not be the worst idea, actually. Yeah, let's let's go for that, for Jakubek. Plus 10 aim, plus 10 crit, uh, crit if he didn't move last turn. Okay. Do we have any PCS we can use? Plus two health? Probably on Rorosaur, to be honest. Uh, your mobility's so bad, though. But I can't hold out all day. Or all campaign. Especially when your health is so low. I think your health is a bigger weakness. Uh, Larius? Will Einskin or Hyper Reactive? That's not great. Einskin actually makes a ton of sense on a skirmisher, I suppose. And I think that's going to do it. We can get steady hands on our Reaper, but that gets us miles away from rapid reaction. Also, when are we going to sit still on a Reaper, actually? Hunker down restores health. That would be better on the Skirmisher, but we don't have it on the Skirmisher. But still... Hunkering down to restore health up to 8 per mission. And that's actually really good. Um, I think we'll 
We'll put off the the long game a little bit. Get lick your wounds. So we either attempt the network tower like this or we wait for laser weapons. And if we wait for laser weapons, we need supplies. And we're going to be putting it off quite a while. I think this is it. Uh, definitely some utility on Dope Dog would be a good idea, though. How about a flashbang and medkit? And what about accessories? Hair trigger, etc. We've already got on... We've also got an elite laser sight. I think advanced expanded magazine instead of one reload. Much better on Jacobek. Uh, definitely an autoloader is pretty good. Oh, and a skirmisher. Get a little scope while we're at it. Then again, maybe not. Let's do laser sight. The scope would be better on someone else. Scope. And I don't know if the stock affects the aim of the rocket. I doubt it. But it doesn't hurt. Auto loader. And on the vector rifle, we got an auto loader and a stock. Laser sight? Sure. Okay. I don't feel a thousand percent about this one, but let's do it. Sky Ranger Deadpool Squad Green to deploy. And how long is it going to take? Six days, fifteen hours until a hundred percent. But we definitely want to over infiltrate it, so it's like it's going to be a while before we can run that. All right, let's get some intel. Wait, let's make sure we've got people on supply. Income plus six, that doesn't seem very good. We're not really looking for missions right now. Keep these guys hiding until the mission's ready. And the new place. Plus 74 income. Fantastic. It's actually a lot less than I expected. West Asia has a new person. Good. Now we're plus 76. Amazing. Uh, what did we just get to? 100%. Must launch right now, extremely light. Uh, Shinobi Specialist, we're trying to do a sneaky sneak. Let's a go. Whenever you're ready. Operation Winter Storm. VIP of some importance to the resistance is being held in one of their trucks. They've asked us to move in and handle the rescue operation. We'll have to eliminate any hostile forces nearby and secure the area. Then get the VIP to safety. Menace One Five, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Okay, the the evac is ridiculously close to the back of the van. Uh, that's fantastic. Oh, it's not that close, but it's pretty close. Uh, it's also not exactly in the corner of the map. 
All right, let's begin the sneaky sneak. Uh, first priority is to get to the evac. No matter what, I want these two coming back alive. So how about we take a peek over yeah. this way? Get onto that roof. We can't. Can we get through the door? Oh, it's one of these buildings. Uh, I don't like it. There could be a drone in there somewhere. Uh, and I don't think it would be a good idea to go two different directions, though. Let's see if we can spot drone. Maybe we hack it. That's a drone. We didn't technically see it yet. I don't think we'd even have 100% to shut it down, but we might have to at some point. Oh, here comes drone. Right in the exact direction that I would like it not to go. We've got a hostile squad here. And we're stuck. Okay. Shut down 89%. Uh, thing is, I'm pretty sure it'll just shut it down for two turns, uh, two actions, which is one turn, and we won't be able to move our specialist out. Um, I think with the mod I have that lets you go to the edge of a roof without getting spotted in a way that seems impossible, I might be able to slide away like this, but I wouldn't trust it in any case. We do have the minimum number of enemies on this map to worry about. Oh, I can ghost walk out of this. Hidden away. Okay. Um, let's -a go up here, I guess. Solid copy. What? What did we see? Eyes on a hostile patrol. That's not great. So do we try to hack or don't we? It's only 89% anyway. Uh, I think we just hope it doesn't see us. I can't believe we're already in this position. <laughs> Literally just... Drone out of sight came at the worst possible angle. All right, we're going to pray. We're not going to shoot because we don't want to bring enemies. If the drone comes down here, it's going to become a try to escort the squaddy out of the area mission. Okay. Oh, it barely moved. What was that about? Maybe I should try shutting it down. It might change its direction. Why would it move like three tiles? Uh, I shouldn't have come this way because I'd have to smash through the window to get out. Don't tell me it's like that for the entire floor. It kind of is. I can get to this door... Open it, and run up here. And we either hunk... Sometimes there's a bit of a variance from what this shows as well. So let's have a peek. Ninety-three! It's worse! Okay. I think we I think we do it anyway. It might increase its chances of like changing direction. 
Okay, 93% go. Oh, wow. That, would have, that was like a 99. Okay. And it's stunned for... Two actions. I'm pretty sure that doesn't even let us get out. It does let us get out. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's take a peek. We don't still have Ghost Walker up, do we? Uh, let's take a peek okay. in this direction. And I'm more scared of that drone than anything that might be theoretically over here near the edge of the map. Let's go this way. And let's run our... Where can you even get up? Oh, you have to go up the up the stairs just like last time. Okay, I don't think we're going this way. Um, I think we go all the way back around. As bad as that is. Double time. I guess I could have considered going around the front of the building. Why is this door open? That actually worries me a little bit. Somehow we see that drone go that away. Uh, I don't want to lose too much time. I was going to say run through here, even if there might be civilians, but no, this is much more sensible. And sheep say meh. Uh... Okay, Sheep say meh is going to have a peek over this way. Probably stick to the edge of the map until we get near the evac, which is really quite a long way away. Okay. Uh, please don't get spotted. Probably shouldn't have my scout that far ahead. Sheep say meh, have a peek over... I don't even want to go that far. Over yonder. Maybe I should have used Ghost Walker there. And over yonder. Tumbling Tumbles Satellite, a French soldier of the appearance of your choosing, but with an afro. <laughs> okay. Uh, we heard something over this way. Also, Tumbling, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, you know what? I should really just use sheep to have a peek this way. Let's, let's use Ghost Walker and come as close as we please. Okay, it looks like there's no chance of getting caught over this way. Let's run as far as we can. Oh, I forgot we're still... Um, I forgot we're actually still... Uh, hidden. With our specialist, so that's good. Now goes, just popping in real quick before PT. Uh, it goes okay. We've had a bunch of relatively easy, good, successful missions, and a couple of horrors. Uh, horrors. The last one, we actually had a, like, 1% crit through heavy cover, disoriented mutant, just one hit kill, one of our soldiers. Uh, and then it wall hacked and tossed a grenade to hit two people that it couldn't possibly have known was there. Uh, killing the VIP and making the sacrifice that we uh, the sacrifice that we made to just for naught. Oh, we found something. That's not too bad. Oh, I think there's two squads there. Or did they like teleport and then animate? That's XCOM. Line of sight in this game is just pure baloney. It's not as bad as it used to be. Um, 
uh, I did play XCOM 2 when it still had unbelievably bad line of sight. Uh, like very frequent line of sight bugs where things would shoot at you through floors with Overwatch and stuff. Um, and there was a mod to there was a mod called Less Silly Lines of Sight. Played it when it first came out. Low rocks would block rockets from sparks. <laughs> Weren't sparks added ages later? What's the mod that lets you work the camera this way? Uh, it's just called free camera rotation. Oh my god. Is this a... Wow. Checkmate. Uh, Civilian's gonna civilian. We cannot get through here. I mean, I can dash straight to the evac. Cheap Seymour has 17 mobility. Uh, Odette Durand has 14, which is not as much. Um, forget the objective. Just getting to the evac is going to be problematic. And I don't know... Uh, let's try here for now. Wait, can Ghostwalker get us past, get at least Sheep Seymour past the civilians? I hope so. I really hope so. Alright, they're not coming towards us at least. Thanks for the mod, you're welcome. Okay. Ghostwalker. It does. Well, that's something at least. Um, but what's our poor... specialist to do? Oh, our specialist can get through this way, actually. And then you've got a line straight to the evac and a line to hack whatever this is, and not far from being able to hack. We can actually hack the door straight from the evac. That's huge. But if we don't hurry up, they're actually going to drop reinforcements on us, even though they don't know we're here. I think this will be okay with Ghostwalker and being right next to the evac. Probably. Okay, if they keep going that way for one more turn, things are going to be looking up. Uh, what does this hack do? Advanced PCS, small supply cache. Uh, we definitely want to try to hack that before we leave, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Q reinforcement dropping in the worst place ever. Indeed. Um... Let's get some eyes Confirmed. over this way. Ooh. I do not like our chances of actually pulling off the objective. But getting out shouldn't be a problem. We've come this far at least. Should I move up a tile? I think so. They're probably going to keep going that way. Good copy. Moving on target. Okay. Covering now. Looking good. Oh, that's even better. But we don't quite have the tempo to fully take advantage of this. Also, oh, this bloody tower as well. Okay. Um, does its detection disappear if we hack it? I think it does. We also have line of sight to the door from here. But if they walk into us, they'll find us. 
the truck, not the tower. Good question, actually. Wait, what was the question? Where are these goons going? I don't know. Um, Ghost Walker's down. Two more turns. I need to get the Shinobi Sheepsay Mare up to physically open the door as well. Oh, this is so sketchy. I know where they are. I know we can squeeze in here. But... I think I can do it with a double move, so that's going to be a bit safer. Yeah. Let's go over here. And... Over here. And if things go bad, we should be able to just leave. And if things go well, we can hack two things. Open door... Keep concealment, we hope. Uh, and have the VIP run out. Oh, don't, don't evac. That would be suboptimal right now. These guys are continuing in the same direction. If Sectoid Snack do the same thing, we're looking very good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Awkward. Well, they don't get any bonus actions. Alien reinforcements inbound. Good timing. Here come the reinforcements. Uh, I wish I could measure... Oh, I guess I can, actually. <laughs> I, I can measure it by, like... Just... Gambling sheep say mare's life regardless. Um, if I go here to open the door, can we get to the evac? I think so. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight diagonally. Two, three, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's a car there. I, I can't... Uh, I can't get an angle where I could see if we would be able to get out. Would it be cheating to, like, save Scum to check this? The game should really give us that information. But, like... One, two, three... One, two, three tiles this way. One, two, three... It should be fine. On your order. It's exactly fine. Okay. Alright. We hacky the door. We go for... Watch list. We get the worst hack in history. But it's okay because it still opens the door. And we go for the strategic reward. Well, the other strategic re reward. Uh, supplies would be really nice right now. Advanced PCS I'm not that excited about. It'll get superseded eventually. And that's the same roll from last time. God damn it. Okay. Coin flip? Nah, if it says 50% in XCOM, it's actually like 4%, unless it's the enemy doing it. Alright, we open the door. We... The... Really? Really, VIP? Is this a joke? We're right here, and you're just... Nah, I I'm good. Time to evac? It really is. There's nothing more I can do here. If I go in 
to say hello to him to get him out. Cheap say Met is just dead. Uh, like, there's no way. And it's not like I can do a zigzaggy move and maybe he sees Sheep say Met. I don't think it even works that way. Uh, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. He just stands there. Leave them to their fate? Yeah. I think that was a scientist. Just shoot someone randomly? We didn't have any actions left. Alright, well, we got a promotion out of it, so it's not nothing. We're getting thin on manpower. Shut up, Central. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Okay. Sheep say meth. Uh, Shadow Step. Ignores reaction fire. That's something. Also, you've got 14 AP to spare. You're a spy, and you have preservation. So, let's take that. If you get revealed, plus 15 defense for two turns. My sweater tells me we're understaffed. Uh huh. All right, let me let me have a peek at tumbling tumbles satellite French soldier. All right, so you don't care which soldier you are. Um, who have we got that hasn't been claimed yet? This this person, our flamer. All right, let's uh let's try and make it look a bit like tumbling. Perfect. <laughs> uh, tumbling. Was it tumbling tumbles satellite? Okay. Is it double L? Yeah, it's double L. Uh, nationality... Francais? Uh... Do we have a French? Yeah, we do. Well, this one was obviously voiced by Tumbles. Uh, and then we go head, hair, it's not in alphabetical order. Where's the afro? Oh, there it is. Uh, and what, black hair? How's this? Oh, that's very black. Perfect. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, and your specialty is setting people on fire. Uh, are we doing anything with the GTS right now? Oh, I, uh, I used up all that income on... on that mission. Okay. Set people on fire because I'm lit. <sighs> okay, we're only 29% on the network tower. It's gonna be a minute. Uh, we've got... Two times... Resistance personnel, rookie, three times resistance personnel. That's not that great. Especially four days, four hours, very light. We're not doing that. Ten hours until... Uh-oh. Okay, it's just another... It's just another faceless. That's fine. We've got Shmua. 
as our Haven Advisor. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six rebels minus whoever is the faceless. Let's a go. Setting course for Sector Five, India. We've got a grenadier with needle grenades. Um, that's going to be just fine for the ambush. It doesn't get much easier than that, actually. Operation Shackled Whisper. And it looks like we have four. Uh-oh. We have four rebels, which means two of them are faceless. Uh, which means this is not going to be that easy. Let's get going with... There's only one with an SMG, and that's our Grenadier, actually. Okay. Shmoa, get down there. And everyone else, fan out. Kind of stupid. And look for the enemy. This shotgun person is rather slow. 12 mobility on a shotgun. That hurts a little bit. I should have a closer look at our stats. Good to go. Just shoot them all, God will sort them out. Alright, so Shmua has twelve mobility, three grenade four grenades, uh, and needle grenades. That's good. Seventy-four aim as well. We've got seventy-five and thirteen with seven health, that's a lot. Uh, seven health again. How do our rookies ha not rookies, resistance personnel have so much health all the time? Uh, 13, 75 aim, 13 mobility, that's decent. 15 mobility, 64 aim. I wish you were the one holding a shotgun, but 64 aim isn't that bad. 12 mobility, 77 aim. <laughs> and you're the one with the shotgun. Okay, okay, okay. 72.13 isn't too bad. Well, uh, we're just going to do have to do a lot of overwatching in the right positions before we get started. Where's our grenadier? Here we go. Uh, how about take Here a peek go. over this way? Take a peek over this way, not too aggressively. And down here as well. Still no sign of the enemy. Okay, focus. Don't die. Don't die. Yes. Stop exploding, you cowards. We hear something? A sectoid? I don't think there's ever a... S oh, wait, no. There was a sectoid with the faceless last time. Moving to designated position. We still don't see them? Uh, that's a little bit awkward. Can do. Still nothing. Huh. Could we get... Shreya Me Meta? Over to this corner. Still don't see anything. This is getting a bit spooky for me. And let's get these guys to just run as far as their little legs can carry them. All right, surely we see something this turn. Oh, here they come. Is that... Enemy squad located. Double gunner? Okay. 
It's not as bad as I thought. I thought I saw double flamer. Uh, but double gunner is kind of spooky. Let's get in range. Well, I, I, I kind of want them to come up here. Probably put these two next to each other. Scanning. And our shotgunner is never going to catch up at this rate. No need to ask twice. Shmua. Fuck yourself. Over here. All these people can overwatch. They're leaving. I don't think they're going to come out this far. And I'd like to know where the... Uh, there now. Where the faceless is before we make a move. Off you go. Over here. And... Shmoa up this twice. way. Uh, keep some of them okay, close in case they come back. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mr. Slowest Shotgun in the Universe. Get yourself up to the low cover. Or Miss Slowest Shotgun, I should say. They're cutting off the path that I want to take to look for the faceless. Let's let's take a peek over this way. I'm on the move. We still see nothing. Uh this little garage thing is actually incredibly awkward. One more step, on and come back after that, I guess. If we don't find them, like, right now, I think we just ambush the sectoid and friends. When they come back to us. Was that just a ploy to give aliens na Wait, what? What are you talking about? Um, let's head over here. And... I don't want to activate with them walking too close just yet. Actually, I don't want to activate with them walking too close at all. I want to use a grenade. So let's stay here. They're still not coming back. Let's speed it up a little bit. Alright. Back to... Say, this heavy cover? That's about as close as I'm willing to get to where the faceless might be. Um... Shotgun up here. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Shmua. Over here. Oh. You are still miles away. Go, go. And this is decent. Overwatch. Ready, sort of. Did my previous message not go through? Maybe not. Okay. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Affirmative. Covering now. Overwatch. Uh, I think this spot's about as good as it gets if we want the heavy cover. I'm watching. I'm always watching. I could go up here, but that's probably where we find the faceless. Maybe I do that because I don't value the shotgun overwatch shot all that much. Order so that we can... Yep. I, have eyes on the enemy. 
Okay, that's good information. Uh, I think if we get the chance, Orders confirmed. On the move. we try to ambush them somewhere a little bit different. Got it. Moving. Finally found them. Something bothers me about the law that... Uh-oh. No, that should be fun. Uh, yeah? Okay. I think this is the turn we do it, even though... They might not rush in in one turn. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so... Overwatch? Covering now. Overwatch... No. Um, I doubt Shotgun is going to get a chance to walk up to something, but Overwatch is going to be garbage either way. Maybe we use a grenade or flashbang instead. Roger that. Very good that we can just get behind this high cover for the Overwatch. And here we go with a grenade. Thin men were supposed to be the infantry unit, then they reverted back to Vipers because it wasn't necessary. But then what about the Faceless? Oh, the Faceless are the excuse. Wait, or were the Vipers? S alien Snake Titties. I... I don't know. Out. Let's -a go. Oh, wow. Contact Both Gunners outside. just We're dead. Outside. And we get a million overwatch shots with high aim on the sectoid. It was a fair fight, and no one can say it wasn't. Um, let's toss out evac. Six turns is actually terrifying. If it, if it, if it gets to the point where we're going to need it, um, we're not in good shape. Let's walk away here. Toss the evac a bit further away. I really don't expect to get much out of this shotgun. Unless we line it up so the faceless runs right up to them. Nice aloha strike, indeed. Let's take the loot. Illyrium core, that's decent. And reload overwatch from behind the heavy cover. Uh, I might want to get this guy closer, if I can. But it might be a l Okay, let's swap. Moving to position. Otherwise it'd be a little bit that. sketchy which direction they might come from. Here they come. Five damage. Very, very nice. Uh, nice animation. <laughs> Okay, I forgot we have double faceless. And that's why this mission is terrifying. But we did half kill the first one so far. It'll regenerate, but still. Okay, so we got double faceless sectoid engineer to deal with. I'm not really scared of the engineer. Let's see if we can flank kill the sectoid. Uh, the nearest fa- wait. What? Where is... Where is the other faceless? Did it animate weird and it's actually back here? Or is there like an invisible faceless somewhere around here that's gonna... I'm gonna save here. And maybe reload. Um, well, I, I I think I won't reload, and we'll see what happens. Because sometimes when you reload after something weird, uh, it renders the enemies in places where they're not actually standing. That's a mimic beacon. <laughs> um, so if it turns out there's an invisible faceless here, which I don't know how it would have run that far actually. Uh, then and 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 then it just teleports up and swipes us. Maybe we'll load. <gasps> what? 
Uh. Okay, we're definitely loading. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Never had something like that happen. Is it caused by mods? I don't know. Uh, okay, can we see? No? Uh, so I can't find a tile where this faceless was rendered. Where I can't move to. So it doesn't seem to be here. Um, I, I hope? Where am I going? Okay, it's not rendering it here now. I think it's probably further back than even this guy. I hope. 69% for a decent chance to kill Sectoid. Let's -a go. That's a complete miss. What the? How'd I miss that? Um, we can't get any more... F we can get a flank on Sectoid. How far can the Faceless go? Not far enough to swipe. Let's try for that Who's flank. There? there it is. That's where I thought it would be. Okay, 80%. Let's -a go. Three damage is more than zero. Um, I could just grenade the sectoid to finish it off. I mean, I could have moved up and done that in the first place. We've still got three. I think we should just go for it. Uh, but I'm not going to take the heavy cover because, well, if I go on the left side of the heavy cover, it looks like we should be able to reach. On the move. Counting with hacks, indeed. Alright, get out of here, sectoid. We're not picking that up. Uh, unless we get very lucky from this point on. There's no way. Alright, I want to move my guys far enough apart not to get... Uh, flashbanged. We need to stay far enough from the... Faceless. Actually... I don't know exactly how far this swipe can go, but I, I I would like to move our shotgunner up just close enough that it would walk into range. But maybe we should be doing that after we kill the engineer. Well, you've got a flashbang, so why don't you get relatively close? Maybe I should flashbang the flashbang. No, we're, we're definitely going to want um, to flashbang the faceless at some point. Seems doable. And we could try a 32%, or we could overwatch, which will probably hit the faceless, but... I really want this guy out of the picture. We can completely control this battle after he's gone. He runs back and overwatches. Interesting. Double move from the faceless that we hit earlier. And double move from the next one. If I grenade both of them, uh, we'll probably get one of them low enough to finish. But can we do that without sacrificing anybody? Probably not. I can't reach that engineer. Anything less stable than XCOM is the Twitch app. Uh-oh. We've got plenty of flashbangs. Uh, the engineer can deal how much damage? Up to four. That's not a whole lot. 
What if I have someone run the Overwatch? Move our Grenadier up to delete him? And have someone flashbang the Faceless. They can still hit... Like, they might still hit if they are uh, in swipe range, though. And if I put damage into them but don't kill them, it's going to be wasted. Uh, okay. How far do we have to run? These two rocks. This, this tree. A bit further. I think we just kite them a bit for now. Ah. And if we get a bit lucky on some of these, that's not very lucky. Your fault. Uh, you're not going to be able to take a shot this turn. Just get away from them. And you could take a shot if you come back here. Whatever you say. Seventy-seven percent. That was pretty sad, but at least it negates the regen for one turn. Uh, and I'm not going to waste a grenade just yet. I could try sending Amiya Chopra on a bit of a flanking mission. If the Faceless come back for her, it probably ruins all of my plans, though. I don't mind too much if they chase her over here. And in they come. If they both take up the same space... Oh. Are you actually going after the shotgun? Nope. Okay, maybe I... Grenade them this turn. Since we don't have to worry about the engineer. First we move our person, of course. Although, 100% to hit from this range. Hmm. It all depends on how much damage we get. Shotgun can't get close enough to... Well, you can get close enough to flashbang. So I think we try and deal as much damage as possible and no flashbang problem. if we have to. Or we could grenade spam. Wait, we can't hit both of them with most of them. Okay. Let's focus on the guy at the front. A little bit. Three and four. That's not great. Uh, how about, well, you take your 100% first. This could kill it. Not likely. Mineral. Perfect. Just what I wanted to see. Of course. I'm going. And 92% execute faceless. Cool. And we have one more shot and then we... Uh, it's literally impossible to kill it. Oh, we don't have another shot. I mean, I can do 2 to 5 damage with a grenade. How far can I reach? A couple more tiles. That makes no tactical sense at all. Uh, we grenade. Okay, time for juggling lessons. Your first lesson is to just grab we apply red ball. fog. Slow. Oh, wait. 4 damage. Um, if I just sacrifice one faceless corpse, the threat is gone. Heading to that 
assuming we can reach. We can reach. I think it's worth it. Cool. Now we just have a two hit point engineer to deal with. Who literally can't kill this person in one shot. Uh, not that we like people taking damage. Uh, I can't get a flank with this person this turn, or this person. I mean, I can flank him to make him run away a little bit, but that's not really going to help. Everyone needs to reload right now. I could perhaps go closer with our shotgunner and hunker down. Might be the way to go. Or I could just run away and try and pull him into all these guys. Oh, yeah, Overwatch. Let's do that. And just run away. And that's going to do it. Fantastic. Simply need to get my hands twisted in all kinds of weird ways. Wait, what? Okay. That's a win. We missed one loot and one faceless corpse, but it's functionally perfect other than that. Fantastic. And Shmua gets a promotion. We get three trooper corpses, two sectoid corpses, a faceless corpse, and an Illyrian core. That's not too bad. Shmua is going to take boosted cores. Hell yes. For, uh, explosives. Grenades do one additional damage. That's on top of the plus one from needle grenades. Uh, but also, this applies to, for example, fire. Uh, it doesn't really say that here, though. But yeah, later on, we get incendiary grenades, gas grenades uh, that deal damage over time. Uh, this is going to add damage to every tick, which is... Not nothing. We've also got 21 AP to spare. Uh, and I think we're probably just going to go low profile. All cover counts as full cover. If you get one kill, hunkered down. That's good, but this comes first. Beautiful. Okay, and uh, that's where we're going to leave it today. So we've got an awful lack of supplies, a team infiltrating the network tower with, uh, frankly, terrifyingly bad gear. It's not that late in the game, but we should really have laser weapons. Uh, unfortunately, we do not. There's going to be, I think, at best, 15 enemies to deal with. If we infiltrate as much as possible, or is it 12? Uh, and the layout is not that handy. We're not going to bond a rookie. Serving humanity with a side of fries. Quick to catch you on the way back home. Thanks for the stream. Take care, Tumbling. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Crimson, name in character pool, deepest red armor and weapon. Okay, that'll be the last thing we do today. Uh, so we've got... We've got a quite a lot of named characters, actually. We've got the squaddy specialist, uh, the squaddy gunner, and the squatty specialist. 
So what's it going to be? Specialist or gunner? Or a rookie that we're going to keep in our pocket until the end of time. Anything you actually think you'll take missions? Okay. Uh, probably... Probably the specialist. It's, it's going to be our only shooter specialist. Although it's a bit behind. Okay. Crimson. FL. Crimson. And we want the deepest red armor. Like, like that. Uh, looks kind of like pajamas or something. Can we change the armor type? Not armor pattern. Here we go. That looks kind of cool. Legs. Torso. Perfect. Okay, cool. Alright, but that's going to do it for today. Tomorrow we'll continue with some oxygen not included. After that we're back to uh, space exploration with K2. But for now, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Let's have a look at who's playing. Literally no one. Unless I... No, category does not exist. XCOM 2. There we go. Take care, Evil Plur. Thanks for hanging out. Anyone doing Long War? Legendary Iron Man LW2. Well, there we go. Alright, let's drop in on Beer Brew, I guess. Make sure we can follow his only chat. I don't think so. Mod Jam Plus. Don't know what that means. But we'll drop in on Sea Pickles, I think. Alright. Away we go. Need to get somewhere that I can.